So do you want to, do you want to recap? Yeah. Okay. Last time on? Let's see. Last time on. St- Hold on. I have to have the lady's voice though. Uh-huh. Last time on Star Trek: The Next Generation. Because that's what she would always mm-hmm. say. Yeah, yeah. It was the computer who would do the last time. Yeah, voice. yeah, yeah, yeah. She'd be and he'd be like, "I am Locutus, a Borg." Mm-hmm. Um. Last time we were exploring in the neutral zone, and we ended up in a confrontation with Garidians who were... They're pursuing sh- a ship. Yeah, they're pursuing a ship that turned out Political to be the refugees. son yeah. of one of the of the captain of the of Garidian the ship. ship. yeah. And then uh, some underclass political refugees who are looking for something called the Fifth... The Fifth Scroll. Scroll that yes. apparently has what the role of plebeians would be in Gurian society. Mm-hmm. And... Yeah, the faux Romulans. They're yeah, basically yeah. fake Romulans. Fake-ass Romulans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the... Let's... Oh, my God. Then the... Uh, while we were doing that, we were sent to help a space station, yes. a scientific space station... Correct. ...that was under attack from a mysterious assailant. Uh-huh. And the mysterious assailant... Uh, turned out to be like a little robot thing. It's like a ship, a tiny, yeah, that, but it's tiny. That could camouflage itself mm-hmm. in chameleon, uh, armor, some nonsense. It, when when you tried to scan it, it wouldn't register as anything other than like an asteroid. Right. Yeah. And that's the ship. When the ship scanned it, also mm-hmm. detected an asteroid. Mm-hmm. And so then, we managed to save everyone on the space station. Mm-hmm. Nailed it. Uh, making up for having killed everyone on the ship earlier. Yes. And then. We were back in space, and we went to go see the guy that the Fifth Scroll people were looking for. And he Shaynock. was like, yeah. well, you know, uh, some of the artifacts that were here on this planet actually end up on that space station you were just at. That's yeah. so weird. Yeah, yeah. And so now we have a mystery of the fact that the people on the space station had some weird artifact, and the weird artifact was the one thing that was stolen. Yes, so they sent some isolinear rods, which yes. are like their basis of their computing technology. They sent them back to Merton's orbital station to be scanned. Yes, where Daynub was. Where Daynub. Daynub. Oh. oh, yeah, Daynub um, was there. Yeah, yeah, Daynub was there. So, um, but the the important thing to note is that the sections where the isolinear rods were being stored were surgically, surgically removed. removed. Yeah, they, they were very specifically targeted. Yes, by. Whatever attacked Merton's orbital station. Right. Yes. True. Uh, so after we discovered that information, we went back to, I guess, just patrolling the neutral zone. I don't yeah. know where we were heading. We got contacted by an admiral who was like, hmm, we need you to go to a planet that is – we cut this part off because we couldn't save until we fast-forwarded through the yeah. conversation. But I think – you can actually look back at previous conversations. It doesn't yes. matter. The whole point was the Admiral was like, I need you to go to this planet, resolve some shit. It is a planet that is a matriarchal society. It's it's like a wildlife preserve, basically. So we're going to essentially like a big zoo. Mm-hmm. Um, and they are- Run a- run by women. Yes. Which means to me, mm-hmm. now I've seen enough Star Trek Amazon to know- Amazon women on the moon. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. I've seen enough Star Trek to know exactly what we need to do here. Oh, yeah. One- Bring Riker- well, yeah, don't. Well, well, no, first off, first off, yeah. the, the, cr- the crew <laughs> needs to be Troy. Yeah. Crusher. Yeah. Data. Uh huh. Because he needs to experience sex. Uh huh. And Riker, <laughs> who's going to try and get He's, him laid. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's He's the ultimate the, wingman. Yeah, that's what the yeah, episode yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the episode is. And Data's like, I am fully functional. And then Riker's like, damn right he is, pats him on the back. Yeah, and they yeah. go into like a, like a sex party. You're going to say pats him on the ass. Pats him on the ass. <laughs> this is a little swat. Damn right he is. Slap. Swat on the butt. <laughs> yeah. Damn right he is. Yeah. Slap. yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, w- the, the basis of this mission, I mean, aside from getting data laid, is we're trying to find some animal that I don't think they tell us what it is, but some kind of animal escaped and is causing problems yes and so we're trying to figure out what it is why it's causing problems and catch it yep yep all right let's do this so uh here's we're the- on our way to morassia uh we're also going warp five so we're we're just sort of meandering over there well you, you know wanna, what you want to crank that up a notch go to uh, engineering. computer tactical astrogation yeah go to uh go to course and crank that son of a bitch up Warp factor 9.9. I don't think we can go 9.9. I think 9.5 is the highest. 
We can go nine. Engage. Warp engines oh, unable to sustain. Nine point two. Reducing speed to maximum warp. Yeah. We got there fast. What? Oh, uh, you have to you have to select engage. Oh, well, we're almost there. Yeah, we're almost. I mean, it's just a it's just a thing like going crazy. Mm -hmm. They'll be fine, I think. I think they'll be fine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, we're cruising. We got time to consider. Yeah, we have time to like. Any suggestions, number one? I'm sorry, Captain. I don't have any suggestions right now. You are Thanks, literally useless, Jonathan Frakes. Literally useless. Oh, for those Counselor, that were not here, uh, these are all the actual actors. Yeah, these the are show. the real actors. Yes. This is. Not some bootleg Star no. Trek. This is this is the real deal. This is real deal. I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't have any suggestions right now. Damn it, Troy. Gosh, damn Warning, it. entering Nebula. But oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh. That's it. Literally, we travel in like real warp time, so we have to wait. Entering Nebula, and now we're fine. Mm -hmm. Which button makes Riker walk over the chair? chair? He does it by himself every he, time. Yeah, but right now Entering you just get the Riker lean. Space. It's just sort of like... Mm. We're just warping through. We're just passing through these places, though. Mm -hmm. View screen. Oh, I, I think we, we arrived. Uh -oh. We arrived. We get cutscene. 1996 cutscene or whatever. Captain's log supplemental. The Enterprise has arrived at Marassia to investigate the disappearance of Dr. V. Hunforth, okay, so an exobiologist do, stationed please don't comment the past on the two years. Space. The three species native to this world have enjoyed a millennium of peaceful cooperation, and this visit will give us the opportunity to review Marassia's petition for membership in the Federation. Oh yeah, they want to apply for, for uh, membership in the Federation. It's time we introduced ourselves. Mr. Worf, hail Constable Lixie. Lixie? Constable Lixie? I know. On Morassia? I know. Constable Lixie I on Morassia? I know. Riker? <laughs> Riker. Listen. Call this lady be, up. Work be, your magic. Be polite. Be tactful when you talk to Lixie, okay? <laughs> Please, I'm begging I'm you. Captain. I'm Captain. I'm Captain Jean-Luc Picard with the Federation Starship Enterprise. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I literally just say? What did I literally just say, Jesse? Jesse! No! What did I just say? No. Hello, it's very nice to meet no. you, Nam. <laughs> I'm laughing. If I was a captain, on you'd this be like, "Hang on, take me off screen for take a second. Me off take me off screen. Take me off screen." If this is what this but they don't cut the sound. <laughs> it's just you like laughing your ass off. If this is what I turn, here's what makes it even more funny. I still want Riker to bang this lady. <laughs> you know he would. I know Riker would. You know would. he would. I know. I'd be like, Riker, go down that and bang this lady. He'd be like, well, all right. And then he'd like get yeah. off the chair like he does, you know? Yeah, yeah. he would swivel out of it. <laughs> yeah, he'd be like, like, all right. One to beam down. Yeah. <laughs> just send one. Riker alone. <laughs> just totally nudes, gets in the transport. He's like, all right, send me down there. I'm ready. He's all greased up. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. This is I you know what? I can't say She hasn't it. even said anything yet. <laughs> I can't you know say. what? Mission complete. <laughs> Mission complete. We did it. I can't say I was expecting this. This is a pleasant surprise. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be another guy with a terrible haircut. Whoa, with the, with the bald dreads look? Yeah. Yeah, you thought it was gonna be that? It's a matriarchal society. Oh, these guys wanna be in? This is Planet of the Apes! <laughs> oh my hey, god. Hey, they were quite advanced for a Planet of the Apes. Welcome to Morassia. As I told Admiral Redrick, I really don't think Dr. Hunforsch is in any danger. She's probably on an extended field trip. This... This is like one of those things where you hear a person's voice like a DJ. Mm-hmm. And then when you see them, they're, they're like, a literal, oh my They're a god. literal, like... They're a literal... Like, gorilla or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A like, Morassian. Wow. They're wow. a little uh, they're Morassian. They're a Morassian, yeah. yeah. I, I guess she would be Morassian, huh? Yeah, she would be Morassian. Morassian, yeah. She wouldn't be a gorilla. She'd be a Morassian. A Morassian. Sorry, you're yeah. right. Doctor, Doctor Lickia, the Morassian. <laughs> Doctor Lickia, the Morassian. The Morassian. Good. 
we'll need your beam down coordinates. <laughs> I shall transmit them. And Captain, in order to protect the animals in the preserve, we permit no weapons oh, of any that's right. kind you can't on the bring surface. A phaser. Mm. That's a big deal. Our away teams carry phasers for self-defense only. They can be locked on a low stun setting. I assure you none of your animals will be harmed. I'm sorry, Captain. Yeah. I won't allow it. We cannot predict how even your lowest setting will affect our animals. It's true, you don't know. Mm. Respect your laws. We're yeah. trying to get them in the Federation, right? Yeah, we want to respect their laws. Oof. We will respect your laws. The away team will not be armed. For a male, you are unusually cooperative. Whoa! Whoa. She's right, though. Yeah, She's yeah, right. that's right. Is I mean, she could have just said you're unusually cooperative. Yeah. Is Picard trying to get up in this? Well, you know, he, he's trying to get inside the matriarchy. Yeah, you know, that's true. The matriarchy, always keeping men down. Yeah, that's Forgive true. Forgive me, Captain. I am not accustomed to seeing a male in command. Oh my God! Would you like Picard? to Picard? Yeah. There's... I will await your investigators. I like to investigate you. <laughs> you know what? He does pretend to be a private dick on the holodeck all that's the time. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. What if there was an episode? With this Morassian uh -huh. and Picard uh -huh. in the holodeck as a detective, and she was like in a silky dress. Yeah, she's the femme fatale that comes yeah, in that with comes like in the big sun hat and yeah. everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. she's also an ape. Yeah, or a Morassian. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. Picard in his like wafy open shirt plays the piccolo or whatever <laughs> he plays for her. What does he play? Is it a flute? And then she dances. She's yeah. like, Ooh, <laughs> Picard! Yeah. That would be the best Let's show. Let's reunite the cast. Make it happen. All right, so we need to go down to the <laughs> transport. Uh, transport. Yeah. I mean, we could go to the holodeck, but... Oh, is it automatically picking people? I thought you could switch them out. I might be misremembering, though. Beam I could have sworn you did. Selected. You know what? I'm... Oh, my God. There we go. We're, we're just... Poor O'Brien, not even... He's just behind the camera. Yeah. Are we the O'Brien? Oh, yeah. my God! She is literally a Morassian. Visitors for Constable Lixie. Constable Lixie is present. What?! It's a talking emu. <laughs> what?! Oh, my God. Data, don't walk... Data, Data, what are you doing? I am Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. Welcome. So you are the artificial human. Interesting. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but there really is no need for alarm. Dr. Hoon Forsh is probably just yeah, an extended field Yeah, that's the thing. Is they need to find this doctor. Uh, okay. Yeah, who last saw the we doctor? Need, we need to investigate about this. Who were the last people to see the doctor? Apparently, Consultant Idia was the last to see her. Like they had idiot. dinner or some <laughs> such. It's yeah. all in my report. You should be able to access it through your tricorder. Nice, nice. Uh, would you be able to locate her? Sort of clearly embodies her philosophy of life forms. Of life yeah, let's forms. flatter her. Let's let's lay on the let's this lay on one? the butter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> lay it on thick, Data. Come on. I wish Riker was there. here because he'd be like, he'd be like the preserve clearly embodies your philosophy of life forms. Within other life forms. <laughs> and she'd be like, oh, Commander Riker. How would you like to embody this preserve right now? Yeah, he's like, my bedroom's the same way. <laughs> yeah, Commander Riker, killing it every the time. The preserve clearly embodies your philosophy of life forms living within life forms to create a single harmonious organism. It is an impressive achievement. Very observant, Commander. Your perceptiveness does you credit. Yeah, she's into it. She yeah. wants it. I am fully functional. <laughs> I am fully functional. If the doctor had been injured somewhere in the preserve, would you be able to locate her? Of course. But our surveillance system can detect signs of distress in any of our inhabitants. And we've had no sign of trouble from the doctor. <laughs> I love the idea that there is a bird that can talk. But it's just but in the also background, makes like chicken sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you'd not like. Oh, should I say that? Uh, I mean, we may as well. Your tone suggests that you do Data not doesn't want know Doctor Who. No, speak, so. he's a child. Yeah. She hasn't made many friends here. She disagrees openly with our philosophy, our methods, and has even accused us of smuggling banned species. I would like to investigate. Yes. 
I would like to investigate the preserved grounds where the doctor last worked. We'd prefer to limit the number of outsiders in the preserve while it is under construction. Investigating the doctor's laboratory should be sufficient. A thorough investigation of the doctor's disappearance will require me to enter the preserve. Furthermore, the Federation Council has requested a review of Morassia. Leverage. Unhindered access will allow me to prepare a far more detailed report. Damn right, Data. The Federation's requests are not law here. Oof. Not yet. But in the interests of cooperation, I'll open up the area surrounding my outpost. Be sure to stay within the visitors' areas. You must understand, my responsibility to the animals comes first. My responsibility to this I have no more questions first. for you at this time. May I investigate the doctor's quarters? leave now? <laughs> of course. Her laboratory quarters are at the end of the path towards the mountains. Okay. okay. So what was... What was hey! <laughs> oh, hey. No, he's the tricorder. Oh. I thought he was pointing. I thought yeah. he was like... Was he gonna was he gonna blast her or something? Like, yeah. Hey. Well, they, we can't have phasers. But what we can do is use tricorder. Scan and, that fucking chicken bird. Um, can we look at tricorder? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's like a human. Yeah, she she is a human. Oh well, no wonder they don't get along. I think I think there's a little more information down there. Um. um duty enter local species in Federation morphology database. Short term visitor. Clear possessions, backpack, four field suits. Hygiene kit. Surveillance, no distress calls recorded. Okay. Yeah. So Idea Dr. Dr. Edia was the last person to see her. Look at Veranda Bird. I think you can talk to it, actually. Verandas are highly intelligent avian mammals with sophisticated vocal ability. What is this thing? This basket holds fruit, roots, and larva for the constable's veranda bird. Morassians typically use the bones of the dead to make useful objects. Oh, ah, how, uh, of course. How cheerful. Constable Lixie is a Morassian of the Euclidean species. She oversees the preserve and reports directly to the planetary government. Man, can you imagine? Actually, you know what? Just, just for, for my own uh, curiosity. Yes. Can you switch to Worf. Just look at Worf? Uh, no, no, no. S like, switch your active character, Worf, and look at Constable Lixie. Constable Lixie oversees the preserve. Every she character a has a line opponent. for examining everything in this game. <laughs> look at the look at the veranda bird with Worf. It is an impressive animal. This is a food basket. Nice design. <laughs> <laughs> nice design. Can I look at Data? Lieutenant yeah. Commander Data is in charge of operations for the Enterprise. So, war oh, look at the window. It is an excellent vantage point for overseeing the preserve. He's so... The computer is a Milosian model. What the fuck does that mean? Oh my god, Troy. Constable Lixie is in charge of the preserve. She seems to be suspicious of us. Mm. What a beautiful bird. The food's probably for the bird creature. Well, not for us. This is the constable's... The constable has a wonderful everything. Every character has a line for everything. Quite an impressive watchdog. Constable Lixie is in charge of the preserve. It's a computer. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Crusher. Yeah, nailing it. Can I talk to the computer? That is unnecessary. Can I use the computer? I do not believe that. One. All right. Um. So I think use tricorder on constable. Constable Lixie is a Morassian oh, of the Euclidean species. Yeah. All right. We can, um... I guess we can walk we can this way. Bone out, yeah. Can I use this? I do not believe that will work. Ugh. I think it's all just flavor. Can I talk to the bird? You, I think you can, actually. Visitors for Constable Lixie. Constable Lixie is present. Oh, it's just like a trained parrot yeah, kind of like thing. Yeah, it's like a parrot, I think. Oh, I thought you were like her friend. <laughs> like her best friend. Yeah, like, hey, no. I love Constable Lixie. Okay, so... Oh my god, we're so tiny. Yeah, I know. So there is the laboratory, the atoll tree monkey, the canyon biotope. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is, is... grab this. Well, get the fruit. Get that fruit. Get that fruit. Okay, we do want to go to the laboratory. That is, um... Hell yeah. So we, we I mean, obviously. Oh, doy. Good doy. He's slowly walking his way up there. He's going to do this. All the way. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so we have fruit. Does he want the fruit? 
Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. Oh my god, what the shit is that? I just ate a bird! Yo, this place is sick. What? He ran He ran away with the fruit. Oh, he peaced out. Use the tree. Use tree. I do not believe that will... Uh... We, we should go to the lab because we need to find... We need to walk to tree? What about the canyon biotope? We can check out the canyon biotope. I don't know if there's a whole lot to do here just yet. What? No. I feel bad because I just gave that fruit. Look at this ominous, like, demon computer, by the way. Yeah, I don't... This terminal is offline. The power grid in this area may be damaged. Everywhere we go, the power grid's damaged. Also, you're right. This is like... Intriguing. A demon skull terminal. Yeah. Oh, this is terrifying. Um, can we scan... Intriguing. Thanks, Data. This Real terminal helpful. is all Yeah, okay. Totally useless. Thanks, Data. Walk to wharf. Leave. Yeah, so we should head back to the laboratory. You tell me I have to walk all the way over there? Well, I mean, you could have used the away team that was closer, but you just had to walk to the canyon biotope. Well, I want to see it. Nah, that's fair. And I also gave fruit to a bird monkey that ran away yeah. and now i don't know where he went yeah to a little uh a little uh, atoll monkey are they gonna make him walk across this long ass thing oh, look buddy. how small he is oh buddy oh nah, never mind we're good okay whoa okay so this is some like king's quest laboratory shit so i know what to do here mm -hmm. but it's very obtuse so i want to let you poke around for a little bit obtuse is how i roll yeah, okay, okay when the this. overhead sensor array conducts molecular and biospectral analysis. It projects holographic images of a specimen or scan. Get close, look at this bio table. The bio table incorporates bioassay hardware to analyze specimens and perform scans. Bioassay. What is this? Bio. Bioprobe. Nice. Question. Use bioprobe on these different things that are here? Alright, before I do that, let's keep looking. It is a sonic scope. It uses acoustic resonances to analyze molecular structures. Good data, good. Uh, look at carcass. It's definitely a dead thing. This paramammalian species has been cryogenically preserved for medical analysis. Mm, we got a computer? We do. The computer is a Birkin 400K model from Arguello 9. The system is accessed by voice print or password. Interesting. And then look at field unit C. The field unit is configured for a specific terrain and climate. It monitors the conditions of animals who have been injected with identification wow. microchips. Wow, wow. It's it's ambient. Yeah, a uh, super ambient. Um Alright, Data. Let's get carcass. Get carcass. Get carcass. So we have three carcai. We have three carcai. Use counter. I do not believe that will. Can I get field unit? So, I'm gonna tell you right now, as somebody who's played this game, um, the, oh, that was the... Those noises were the field units? Yeah, they were humming. Interesting. Um, this part that. has the most tedious segment of this entire game. Oh, this part's tedious? Cool. Uh, well, this, this and the upcoming part are tedious, but it's not so bad. Diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. All readings are normal. Okay. Oh, what is his little pose he does when he's excited to have something is real just precious. He's just, he's just Serial really diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Huh. Subject's neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. Ooh, that's not good. Hmm. So now we got one more car cast to look at. I see no way of you. Oh, data. You gotta pick it up, use the next one. It was this one, right? Uh, let's use the one that looks like a turkey just to be safe. This one? No, no, no. No, no we did this one first. Oh, we did that one? Okay, then it's this one. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. 
Subject's genetic signature differs from its identification tag. Subject is in a conivore. Hmm. Okay, so it says its tag is different than its thing. Right. Can you put the... I, no, I don't remember this. Can you put the carcass on the table? This carcass? Yeah. I wonder what was so interesting about okay. these carcasses. Let's get them on the bio table. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to do a sonic scan. Damn right. Wow. Wow. Subject is marked as a Renorian boar. Probable cause of death is malnutrition. I am not certain this is a Fred Norian boar. I believe it may be an Akana boar, a close genetic relative. But why would they be mislabeled? Can I use the bioprobe? I see no way of using. What? Yeah, you're not supposed. To, I don't think you're supposed to use the bioprobe on the carcass. It's just. Yeah. Doctor Crusher. That's Troy. Doctor Troy. Diana Troy. Come over here. Please, I need you over here. Right this minute. Yes. It's a carcass. So it is. So so it is. What if I use uh, Crusher and the medical tricorder? It's a cryogenically preserved specimen. I think you're supposed to scan the other ones. On the bio table. Back to my man D. Man Big D. My man Big D. Okay, so let's do this one. I see no way of using. Wait, did it say? I see no way. Oh, you're using it on data. There you go. Plop it on. I do not believe that will work. What? Wait, really? I do not believe. Okay, what about this one? I do not believe. Interesting. The doctor was only supposed to be cataloging species. What would she be doing with these carcasses? Interesting. I see no way of... Can you... All right, so we discovered that it wasn't Let's, true. Uh, try using the computer. I do not believe that will work. Okay, I think what we have to do now is mm -hmm. go back and talk to... Uh... Uh... Licky. What Whatever the name was. Okay. I'll yeah. have Worf do it. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Shouldn't we? Hold on. Oh, I my think, God. There's think, so many. I think you got to walk to the shuttle dock. Office. What? There's a little wormy. Wait, there is? There was. There was a little wormy up there. Okay, so it's here. Yeah, walk to Constable's office. Oh, there's so many directions to go. All right. What I really should be doing is having the ladies talk. Right? Because there's Chat. matriarch. Yeah. Chat with her. Data is not going to get the job done. Excuse me, Constable. Has there been any contact with Dr. Hunforsha? No, I'm afraid not. Well, that didn't do anything. Well, I thought we were supposed to report. Maybe try Data? Just just to check. Maybe if, if not, then never mind. Has there been any contact no. with Dr. No, I'm... Okay, never mind. Okay. All right. So let's get out of here. Diana, let's go. Um, let's go to the crossroads, right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Um, so we have got the tree over here, the bog forest biope shuttle dock. This way. See, there's a little wormy. Can you... Oh, I see him. It's like a caterpillar. Yeah, he's chilling. I think if you double-click, you can fast travel. What? Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> I, th I thought that was the was, Oh, my God. This I place know. is Look at that computer. terrifying. Hmm. Diana, you're killing me. There's nothing unusual. Nothing unusual about the mm. skull computer? It looks like this computer terminal's power has... The hell was that thing? Some wildlife preserve animal. Oh, Derwin and Grotke trees are supposed to be difficult to grow. These are excellent specimens. Mm. This terminal is off. All right. So what if I use field unit A? Um, I think they. I think. I the see no way of using. 
Can you look at the field units? Can you examine them? Mm -hmm. The field unit is configured for a specific terrain and yeah. climate. It monitors the conditions of animals who have been injected with identification microchips. So the different field units are configured for different biomes. So, so one we of have these... to figure out which which field unit goes to I which no biome. You... I see no way. Okay, well then we just scan them, right? Yeah, try scanning with the tricorder. This Class A field unit is configured for rocky terrain and torrid climate zones. There we go. Okay, so that's not that. This Class C field unit is configured for a... Cli this Class B field unit is configured for mountainous terrain so and it tropical must be climate aquatic, zones. right? Because this is a marsh. Or is this tropical or torrid? No. We um, should search for... We use this one. I see no way. Of hmm. Try that. On tunnel four. Yeah. The, oh, on uh. We do not know enough about the biotopes to accurately direct the field units. However, the biotope computer may contain the necessary information. But the problem is that the power is out, so we have to figure out. Oh God, every power grid in Star Trek I is see always no way out. Of use That's what I was saying. All right. Get out of here, then. Uh, marine bio... Okay. And quarantine shelter. Ooh, maybe that's where we need to go. I think there might be something of interest there. Yeah, I wouldn't describe a marsh as aquatic. Maybe it's tropical or... Well, I mean, there literally is an aquatic thing. A marine biotope. Oh. And over here was the forest. And that was the the uh, mountains. The, like, And the other one was the... the canyon. Canyon, so yeah. that must be the mountainous ones. I think so. We definitely should explore everywhere. Yeah. We'll find out. That's how these games are. <laughs> Look at how slow my man Data's walking. <laughs> Everyone struts in this game. They don't actually move anywhere. They just, like, slow strut around. He is just strolling. You can tell by the way I am use my walk. I'm yeah. an android. I'm an android. Fully functional. Um... I got a big... I got a big... Uh, unit. Uh, unit. Fully functional. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, let's look at console... Not wharf, console one. This panel controls access to the quarantine area. The gates open automatically in the event of a power failure. Okay. Well, raptors got out. This uh -huh. cage was broken open from the inside, most likely by the last creature it held. This is the harmonic collector control. The collector has been set to emit a brief high-energy pulse. This panel controls the containment field. The field is centered on the harmonic collector. Hmm. These generators create a network of force field segments to form separate containment areas. This is like the background of the scream over here. I don't... Oh, the, the mountains The and harmonic trees. collector mm -hmm. operates yeah. on the same principle as the Bussard Ram Scoop. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, all right. Classic Bussard Ram Scoop. Classic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bussard Ram Scoop. Of course. Okay, so can I use this? Uh, I don't Data? think so. I do not believe that. No, I don't think you can use You're not supposed to use this yet. Data? Because we need to, we, we don't know what broke out of that cage. You're right. Mm -hmm. Walk to gate. There are many, many gates, but we need to leave, I guess. Yeah. I think we should go back to the lab because we're trying... Or the shuttle dock. I want to go to the shuttle dock. Sure. But our, At our first, I thought, like, oh, we've probably been there, but we haven't. We beamed directly to... To uh, Count Constable Lixie. Yeah, to Lixie's thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I think uh, what we're trying to do is we have to get the computers operational because then we can get samples from the biomes and then that will let us examine and see what was going on or like what's happening in the look in the i'm game trusting area. you on this yeah so far i thought we were going to come to a planet run by women and i was going to get Riker laid data it's a, it's a planet run by apes and i still just want to get someone earth. Laid. it was earth it all was along all... it was earth all along okay let's Take a look at what exactly? I think there's a micro generator. The micro generator uses thermal energy to replenish its internal power source. Aha. Uh -huh. I, 
think you can try using This cargo that. shuttle is powered by two 2,250 millicochran warp engines. Zephram Cochran? Zephram Cochran. Oh my Wait god. Wait a minute. That it's might, all connected. That might actually be the thing. That really is a thing. Yeah, whoa. I never that thought of is, that. That is, I don't know that this came out when that movie came out. Uh-huh. When did that movie come out? I thought it was like 97 or 98. Do you think, do you think this is like some guy somewhere was like, you know what? His name is Zephram Cochran. Cochran. Yeah. Oh my god. That just blew my mind. I believe this shuttle dock also serves as the customs area. As there are no expected flights, there is no staff. Uh-huh. So can I mess with anything? Yo, that's how we're going to use the, oh. the grand power of the computers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So we got to go to one I of those terminals. That. I do not believe Pop that sucker in the, com in the demon computer. Hell yeah. Fire it up. And see what happens. Right in the old demon. Right in the old demon. Let's right. go to the. Let's go to aquatic first. We have never been there. Good idea. Marine biome. Marine biome. Cochran was in. T O S in an ep. Really? Really? I didn't know that. Well, now we gotta wait for Data to haul his metal ass over there. A lot of walking in this game. Yeah, but it's like a beautiful slow pace. Yeah. It's a lot of, like, games were different back then. That's true. You were just happy to be playing Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, You can that press W. Oh, my God. You can press W to select the walk action. Hold down the S key and the character walks increase movement speed. Oh. Oh, how nice. Nice. Okay. Um, Let's look. We do not know enough about the biotopes to accurately direct the field units. However, the biotope computer may contain... Yeah, 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 okay. So, let's use that. Put it right there. There's a little power cell. See it? Mm -hmm. Pop. Yo! Hey. Nice. This Sights. is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are within the jelly corals and the water. Okay. Uh, okay. There's, uh, that's just eyeballs. They're just straight up eyeballs or Google boobs. Something is happening right there. Google newest app from Google. Google, Google, Google boobs. Yeah. What do you mean you don't believe that will work? You big dinkus? Uh, when in doubt, I always find scanning shit with the tripod. This is a topographical it. map. Okay. I'm sure it's not gonna be like. This is a topographical map. No unusual reading. No unusual readings. According to the kiosk map, the population within the living jelly corals is constantly in flux. Uh huh. Um. Let's try using the field unit that's meant for aquatic shit. Was it this one? Uh, we'll have to find out. Yeah. I see no way of using. What? Try using it with the jelly. Cream. I'd like to see oh. what Dr. Hey. Hume Forsh was doing in her lab before she disappeared. Thanks, Dean. Uh oh, it's moving. Oh, it's going out there. S very, very slowly, slowly going out there. Here he comes. <laughs> uh huh. I think you have to, to pick up the field unit again. Okay, so I guess we got the information. Um, there's multiple samples in each area, so click on the the unit again. See if there's anything else you can grab from. Jelly corals. There's jelly corals. so many jelly corals. Check out the, the floor. Coral. Is there like a water? Coral. Or? Watch out for me, show. Coral. 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 There's jelly coral everywhere. Uh, coral. Check out the grass or the water, maybe? Use it on the grass and the water? I'd like to learn more about the doctor's Okay, okay Bev. Calm down. <laughs> we'll get there. Calm down, Bev. We'll get there. Coral. Watch out for me, show. If it's just jelly coral, then maybe that's it. Hmm. On antenna? I see no way. Nope. Antenna? Yeah, there's an those antenna. Those are the horns? There. Yeah, those are antenna. It's not horns. Since when are those antenna? This definitely isn't like a Metroid computer. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I guess that's it for here. I can't see anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, we got I coral. Mean, coral. Coral. Maybe we should just bounce. 
Okay, I'll pull it. Pull the plug. But then the Google boobs are gonna stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, Google boobs. They close. Boobs. Oh no, they just stop rotating. All right, so what if we go to close. all three and then we go back to the lab? Uh, we can back do that. to the lab again, yo. Uh oh. There back goes to rabbit. The lab again. Mom's spaghetti. Oh no. Data back spaghetti. To the lab again. Yeah. Data sp. Oh, S. 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 W S. No. S. That shit don't S. Was it like Shift S or Control S or was it just straight up S? S. Hmm. S. Nope. Look, Data don't give a fuck. He don't care. Who's your? Who would you say your favorite TNG character is? My favorite next generation character. Yes. Uh. And why is it Guinan? You know what? I was literally thinking Guinan. Guinan's great. I love Whoopi, but I will say that I think the best character clearly is always and will always be Picard, no matter what. He's the best character. Uh, that's just as simple as it is. Riker will always be my wingman. Yes. If I ever want to have sex with people that aren't real, Riker's the one I call. Call him up. Call him up, like Riker. Have him be his, his communicator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't call him. I yeah, touch yeah, my yeah, chest. Yeah, yeah, You touch your chest and he, um, he answers. I'd like to hang out with Data. I think... I think Bev would be good at a party. She'd have a lot of good yeah, stories. Yeah, that's true. I'm terrified to be near Counselor Troy because I know she'd look into my soul and be like, you have problems. What about what about uh, Worf? Worf? I'd want to hang out with Worf's wife. Worf's? No, not wife. Mate? Not mate. M baby mama. I'm not sure what their actual age. I liked her. She was cool. I thought she was cool. Remember, remember. I just want to out like Cleons who want to like get rough. And yeah, yeah, beat yeah. People up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I feel like that would be fun. Um, I like uh. The doctor's disappearance. No, may not be not to research. Not Dax Perhaps from Deep Space Nine. The, the mother of his son. Oh, these Deep Space Nine people. You guys, come on, come on, come on. Try and keep up, please. Come on, we're not talking about Deep Space Nine. We're talking about Next Generation, guys. Come on. Come on. Uh, Come are, on. are you putting the, the thing in the yeah. socket? Oh. Okay. This okay. is a topographical map of the biotope. The main habitats are the four tunnels within that petrified tree. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we have this one for sure. So we have this tree. Mm -hmm. I see no way of you. Mm -hmm. We have this tunnel. There's a couple tunnels I think. Use with there. tunnel. Yeah, it said there were four, so. Yeah. Yes, Alexander's mom. Thank you, Dr. Evil 2. Yeah. I remember his, his kid in the show. He was yeah. whack. Alexander. He didn't want to be in Starfleet. He wanted to be like an artist or some shit. Did he? Yeah, he, he didn't want to fight. I he wanted to like juggle. No, remember when. Maybe he wanted to juggle. Maybe he wanted to be a comedian. Or like an entertainer. Remember? Because like, uh. Uh, Warp was like, I'm going to teach you. Kapla! I'm going to teach you nonsense. Mm -hmm. And uh, then then he was like, I don't want to learn, Dad. I want to be an artist or a clown or something. Yeah. Let's take a look at her. I want to be a clown or something. Tropical, right? So we sent it to that one. Use on tone two. I. I. Did, remember when I was saying that this is the tedious part of the game? Yeah. Yeah. So you, you basically have to... Do you think we have to... Are you saying we have to go back to the lab, scan a thing, then come back, scan a thing, come back? No. You can, All right. You can scan everything at once, but it's basically this, where you have to send out the unit, it has to go get the sample, you have to extract the sample from the field unit, you have to go back to the lab, you have to examine the samples. Yeah, but like... I'm cool with that, because that's that's really what Star Trek was. I mean, really, honestly... Star Trek was all about... The science. The science, man. It wasn't about the emotional journey of characters traveling through space together. No. And, no, it was straight up just about... And it was about... Data sending probes <laughs> out to trees. There were at least five... I oh, I like thought that was another Data getting was busy doing. joke. No, it was about... Data, look, again... Data probing people. Again... For the record, the best episode of Star Trek uh -huh. is the one where Data tries to explain to a woman that he is fully functional and ready to bang, and she's like, well, I don't know if I should. That's the A plot the, you and that, Yeah, that's the A plot. And the B plot is people being sucked into the walls of the Enterprise. Do they, like, find them, like, hanging out of the wall? Like, it's oh, terrible. Yeah, one episode, or one person is, like, stuck in the wall. One person falls to the floor and it's, like, half their body. Yeah, they all die. Like, crew members die. What? Literally, people die. 
And Data's still trying to get late. That's the plot. That's the plot of the episode. I need more power to Data, but like, that's messed up. Yeah, it's super messed up. Data doesn't care. Data's trying to get busy. And everyone dies. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Uh, not as terrible as the speed at which this probe is attempting to collect samples. Well, like the second episode of season one, Data bangs Lieutenant Yard. Yeah, but like we, for Dr. That, need, lab. that needed to happen at the very, tell me, tell me you didn't think that the minute they were like, yeah, no, he's an android. And yeah. everyone on planet Earth was like, yeah, but, uh, but can he bang? Yeah, but can he fuck episode you? Episode two, they're like, we'll talk about that. Don't yeah, worry, yeah, get yeah, out of the way worry. right now. You thought it was going to be like episode 150, but no. Yeah. Tasha Yar was DTF yeah. with everybody. Including that black puddle that eventually <laughs> killed her. <laughs> yeah. <I've laughs> it was just a bad, it was a date, it was a bad date. Kids, this is why you don't and have sex. she found out the wrong this way. This is why you don't have sex with slime puddles. Uh-huh. Just don't do it. Yeah. Uh, use the tree? I do not believe that will work. Can I scan the tree? Is it still? It's still coming back. Oh my god! Come on, good little guy. I believe in you. Is he almost there? There we go. Okay. okay, and then just a test. How many did we get? I see no way. Okay, we got four. We're four for four. Four. Okay. I think that's it, right? No, call me crazy. Go back to the beginning of your inventory and use that bio scanner. Oh, shit. It looks like a little uh it looks like a little pepper spray. This. That thing. The mm -hmm. bioprobe. Use that on one of the I see no way of already collected samples from. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. So for every time we've scanned or gotten a sample, we need to scan use the bio there is no sample yeah. in the- We should search for Doc. You should shut up, Worf. Oh my god. Oh my hey, god. Hey, remember when I there said is that no this part was really tedious? How many of each do we need? Should I have gotten- Do I need to go back and get those other- I think we're okay. I think you want to go to the canyon. Are you sure we only need two? From the aquatic one? Yeah. Yes, I think so. Okay. Because we can always go back. But just remember to take the power source. Okay. Power source acquired. The crossroads. S. Meandering over there. No, S. I guess not. Run. Faster. Nope. Uh, is this, is this the fastest we can go? It is now. I always love when you turn up uh, the speed on old games, and like everything's like super duper fast. Uh, uh, hello, hello, is this the thing? Hello, there's like no hello no speed option. Don't worry, Data is gonna get there eventually. I mean, he's got those robot legs. Oh dear, oh dear, we finally made it. I'm so excited to be here with Commander Data. Commando Data. Okay. Whoa. So now, do the same thing that this you did it. with the other probes, but here. Gotcha. While you're probing, I'm going to grab a glass of water. Okay. I'm feeling a little dehydrated. That's okay. That's I think it's from all this walking. Yeah, all this crazy walking we've yeah, done. Yeah, it, it makes me very dehydrated. One Go to second. the pit. Go to the rocky pit. Yeah, get that sample. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. It's still going. It's still going out there. It's still going. Meanwhile, this circle boob's like googly eyeing <laughs> Diana Troy, like, oh, Diana Troy, oh my. Can you read my thoughts? The doctor's <laughs> disappearance may be related to a research. It is still. Oh no, it's coming back. My goodness, aren't you fabulous? Oh, ho, ho. 
Hello, dude. Welcome back, dude. Okay, did you get the samples? I mean, it's still coming back. <laughs> it's you got water faster <laughs> than this future technology got sample. <laughs> we have warp. We literally have technology in the future that can Whoa. that can travel at warp speeds. Yeah. Uh, but we can't make an engine that goes faster than like no, an old person using a Segway. That is true. Yes. Uh. Really, we have to go all the way out there. All the way out there. Uh, use crater, use pit, use caverns. Is there a valley? Future. Did we get the close one? This that close little hop. Oh, I thought that was. Yeah, it's nothing. Oh, I did too. Never mind. It looks I'd like, like to learn more about looks the like, doctor's. Looks hey. like there's one here, one here that I got, one here, and I think that's it. There's the antenna. We need to talk to um. Doctor. Yeah, but we didn't find Doctor E. Oh yeah. Everywhere we went, there was no Doctor E. Maybe we should try calling her. From what? No, she has to have one of those. You know what I always thought? I always thought thought it'd be funny if like, when you called somebody on a tricorder, mm -hmm. when it came when their voice came out, it was just like a really bad speakerphone, like super compressed. Hello. It was like. It's like, Philip, engineering. Can I, can I ask you another question? How do they yeah, know who they're contacting? Well, they say the name, don't they? Well, they're like, Commander Riker. But they, they go, Commander Riker. I'd like to see what so Dr. Hyun Forge my question is, in her lab before. When they press it initially, is it them voicing who they want to contact? And if so, if we're together in a room. Okay, right. And, and let's say Captain Picard contacts you, and he's like, Commander Octo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Sir. Like, right. And he's like, that Jesse, he's quite an asshole. Yeah. Do I hear it? I. That's why I always thought it's like, how are they hearing what's coming yeah, out of their Do I hear him talking shit on me? And if I do, can he hear me being like, screw Picard, what a bald dick. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't you just get a bunch of chatter? Yeah, wouldn't there like constantly be noise? If you're in the turbo lift, it's like whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa. yeah. And you're in the how would you hear? How would you unless unless it's one of those things where it's like on you you know how sometimes there are headphones that are they put it like in next to your skull and you can hear the, the sound vibrations yeah, yeah, anyway? Yeah. The bone bone transference. Yeah, or maybe whatever. like in the future it doesn't need to be near your bones, it can just the be near like rib cage. Yeah, it can be related under to a reason. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like like a bone trans Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Riker's just like bone transfer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a bone transfer for you, lady. Hey, I got a bone transfer for you. Um, okay. How I many guess. did we grab? Did we grab three. all three? Three? Okay. So now it's time to make the samples. Making the samples. Did you get three? Yes. Okay. So let's go to the oh, lab. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Good call, good call. Come on, give me that micro generator. Back to the lab again, yo. There goes gravity. Yo, it's named Rabbit. Hey, it's Data. Data. Spaghetti. He's gonna fade ya. And he'll never... Uh huh. Betray ya. Uh huh. Uh, you hear what I'm saying? Nope. Nope. <laughs> He's trying to get later. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Data's trying to get later. Okay, so. But it's got to be later, because Barkley's on the case. Wiki, wiki, wiki! It's me, Barkley, and I'm here to rap too. Ew. Everyone likes that Ooh. I'm part of the crew. Boo! I get trapped in the holodeck. That's what I do. My name is Barkley. <laughs> I'm the number one fool. That's <laughs> Bar when Barkley shows up, shit goes down. <laughs> That's right, yo. It's me, Barkley. Oh. <laughs> My name is Barkley. I don't know why. You all hate me. I'm a pretty cool guy. <laughs> you know what? Barkley starts his rap out like every white guy ever. He's like, my name is Barkley. Yeah, yeah, that's how My name starts. is Barkley, yeah. and I'm here to say, yeah. I hope you all have a really Good nice day. day. Yeah. <laughs> that's Barkley's rap. Yep. Uh, um, I guess we come back and... 
so I think what we want to do is, um, use... <sighs> try using the computer. Just humor me here for a minute. I do not believe that will work. Is Can I use like... this with this? Maybe? Try using this the, with, the, with, the, with the sonic scope. Okay, he's coming over. Okay, that means it might work. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subjects' neural pathways have Remember, been drained of electrical energy. Remember, we saw that on the, the corpse, or the, the, the carcass. Yeah. So... <laughs> that pose. Yeah. Hey. So that's... I think we need to analyze all the samples. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density hmm. analysis complete. So, Subjects' neural pathways have been drained of electrical energy. Things are missing power. Animals' neural pathways are being drained of electrical energy. There's a cage Serial that looks like it's been broken and out. And certain complete. animals are being tagged Subjects as animals that they aren't. From its identification tag. Yeah, so we just got that. Alright. Differs from identification. Yeah, tests. so okay. we have a lot of animals that are being tagged. Serial diagnostic tests. Drained electricity. Mm -hmm. So everything that we saw here is happening Serial outside as well. Serial diagnostic tests and cell density analysis complete. Subject contains high ionic residue and trace amounts of neural tranquilizer. So that is in the swamp area. Originating yeah. creature may consume energy. So we should probably go back to the swamp area then? Is that the, the key here? Well, I think we have to analyze all the samples. Sure. Serial diagnostic Drain test. electricity. There's a lot of that in the swamp area. Serial diagnostic tests. Differ some, okay. Differs from the tag. Okay. So humor me for a moment. Sure. Um, Check out that. Is that a button? Hold on. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Serial diagnostic tests oh. and cell density analysis oh, complete. Okay. Great. Okay. You see that box with the blinking light next to the computer? This. Can you use that? Comport. I do not believe that will work. Can you try talking to it, maybe? Oh, of course. That is unnecessary. Really? What? Because I remember there's some way you can contact. A massive computer fragmentation ah. has erased the doctor's files. The only salvageable message from her daily log is sessions with tracker Malas canceled. Schedule again after field trip. What? Mm. Oh. Okay. Okay. So let's contact Consultant so, Idia. She's the Open last the person. channel to Consultant Idia. Channels to Consultant Idia are closed at this time. What? Interesting. Okay. Can I? Uh, let's talk to Tracker Malas because that was right. Yeah. Open the channel to Tracker Malas. Channels open. I'm Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. Greetings. I doubt that she is in any danger. Whoa! She's probably just taking a vacation yeah. after her blow-up with Constable Lixie. That is... Sorry about the face. <laughs> Man. Oh, yeah, we found your name in the lab. We found your name in the doctor's laboratory. What is your relationship with her? I teach her territorial recognition. At least I did. We suspended our lessons after the power outages began. I haven't seen her since, but I doubt she's lost. Such an excellent tracker, even if she is a bit weak in the nose. Roasted. Um, mm, this blow up you mentioned? Yeah, let's, let's this go through all the blow up you mentioned. Do you mean the, the constable and the doctor explode? had an argument? <laughs> Was she Dr. Kleenforsch <laughs> discovered that several animals from Aramut's second shipment were illegal species which had been mistagged. Uh, I think she hmm. accused the constable of smuggling, but I'm not sure. Healer Zolus told me the story. With two Zs. Zolus. Zolus. Yeah. Oh my um, goodness. Let's talk about the power outages. You yeah. mentioned power That's very important. outages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you describe them in greater detail? A power surge at our quarantine shelter destroyed some of the generators. Two watchers were seriously injured and several animals escaped. Since then, we we've had that. outages in the biotopes. They're still under investigation. So, what we're seeing is an animal escaped and all of a sudden we're seeing 
animals to be drained of electrical energy. And wherever it is, it's in the swamp biome. Yes. Okay. Without the generator, the individual containment fields in the shelter will not function. You would no longer be able to quarantine any animals for analysis or adaptation. That's right. Most of our personnel are out searching for escaped animals right now. Dr. Hunforsch might be doing that on her own. Mm. Oh, yeah. Um, Can we just go through these? Yeah, I think we should. Oh. I have some questions regarding several animal carcasses which we found in the doctor's laboratory. Of course. Oh, my goodness. Uh... The starvation, I don't think, is an issue. Yeah, that's not important. Um, well, we already did that. Yeah. The boar's identity tag is incorrect. It is actually an Akana boar, a close genetic relative of the Frednorian. However, Akana are banned for import. How did this animal get into the preserve? Oh, that's why he was tagged differently, because he was banned, and they just made him like, oh, yeah, no, it's the other boar. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the new arrivals from the second shipment. Maybe there was an error. Oh. You know, we've had a number of minor problems with creatures from that ship. These seem like major problems. Thank you for your time. Uh... You could ask about the starvation thing. Sure. A creature tagged as a friend. Yeah, okay. Hard to say. The Watchers are quite good. I can't imagine they just let this happen. Maybe they were given the wrong care instructions. Or maybe the animal was not identified correctly. Right, because probably the one boar doesn't eat the same thing as the other uh, boar, and that's what they were feeding it the wrong food. Because they didn't know that it was yeah, smuggled in illegally. Yeah, Thank you for yeah, your yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you well on your search. Data out. It's possible the constable felt that telling us about her argument with the doctor would arouse our suspicions. But why would she withhold information about the escapes? Mm. We should go ask. We should but go also, talk to can we talk to anybody else? Um, also, what happened to my... Try corner. Um, we can take healer Zolus? Open a channel to Healer Zolus. Channels to Healer Z What? Open a ch Channels to Grower in Nongo. Whoa! Indefinitely. Nongo. Indefinitely. Locked out. Open a channel to t Channels to t Indefinitely? Oh, you can't, I guess you can't talk to any of these people. Open channels to Okay, so let's get out of here. And we'll walk back. We need to go talk to, uh... The, actually, what am I doing? Let's talk to the constable. Yeah. Because we, we, I think that's sort of what Troy was hinting at. Is mm -hmm. She was like, why didn't she tell us? Oh, man. What if I have Troy? <laughs> yeah. Ask what's up, Troy. Hey, bitch. Boop, 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 boop. Use her mind powers. Yeah. Boop, 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 I always boop, kind of wish she would do that, one of those things. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Could you tell me why Dr. Hyunforsch believed that animals were being smuggled into the preserve? She found a Romulan creature, which is, of course, banned from import by Federation law. It was tagged as a similar legal species. She has accused me of smuggling it in in order to damage our chances for Federation membership. Really? How do you account for the mistagged animal? Yeah, bitch. I blame our supplier, Eremut. He's rude, devious, and barely competent. If I'd known uh, Eremut was a Ferengi, oh, I'd never have listened okay, to E.D. as a recommendation. Okay. But the contract is binding, and he does deliver on time. Um, so the power, power outages. Yeah. Yeah. Constable, I understand the preserve has been experiencing some unusual power outages. Those were just a few temperamental generators failing. They've been repaired. Is the Federation now concerned with our internal technical difficulties as well? Why are you so opposed to the yeah, Federation? What's your deal? Membership in the Federation would compromise Marasia's freedom of action. Some of us would rather not see that happen. Damn. Thank you for your time. Hey, thanks. I believe the Constable. She seems genuinely devoted to the Preserve, and I don't think she would resort to smuggling, even to thwart Federation membership. Okay. If Troy believes it, it must be true. Okay, so... I think we should go... We've already analyzed the samples, and there's nowhere else we can go except to the quarantine area. 
Maybe maybe now that we talk to her, we can talk to we can call Doctor Zayas. Doctor Zayas. Yeah. Uh, Do you Dr. think Doctor Zayas would help? I, uh, yeah, yeah. What are, what is her name? Iago. Iago. Hello. Hello, it's me, Doctor Iago. Doctor Iago. Jafar. We gotta find the animal that escaped. Yo. No. No. Suck to, yeah. Come on. Open the channel to consultant. Channels to consultant. No, it's still closed. What? Okay. okay. Let's go out. And, uh. Maybe we go to the. Should we check? We think it's in the swamp biome, right? Yes. Do you want to go the to the bog, bog forest? forest? I think that's what we forest? should do. Ooh, look at Worf's gait. He's like, I am all business. He is strutting, yeah, dude. I look at that movement. Worf, Damn. Worf has not messed around a day in his life. Never, not once, until he got in a uh, outfit in one of the Star Trek movies that was like, he was a seaman. Oh, that was the um. Where they got? Where they're on the ship? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. And they kicked him off the ship because they, they promoted him. Off the ship? Cause he was there, cause they were, cause he was on the plank. Oh, right, And the whole right, bit, they were right, like, right. they were like, uh, the track plank. I remember that. Computer. Computer. Mess with Wolf. <laughs> Everyone's what like, ah ha What if they just, when they leave and they go like on an away team and they're like, computer, while I'm gone, just fuck with Wolf for a while. Computer. This is a topographical <laughs> map of the biotope. <laughs> tries to get the something from the replicator, just shoots in his face. I do not believe <laughs> Um, can I look at this? This is a t I, I, I just don't know which one went with which. According to the kiosk map, the series of tunnels is home to 430... According to... Okay. We should search for Dr. Hoon for... Should we just go back to the lab then? Uh, but what's left to do with the lab? I don't know. I simply Maybe... don't know. Maybe... Here, let's go. I, I have a theory. We'll first, get the power source. Whoop. Go okay. back to the lab. Yo. Oh, can we put the power source into the lab computer? Could we? I don't Maybe if know. There's a slot for it. Or I don't know. Because uh. the computer wasn't working. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this blank has no honor. Mm -hmm. All right, Data, we can do this. We can do this. You're almost there, bud. I feel like that's the next place to go. Okay. Is there a thing? I don't, I don't see a triangular slot. I see no way of using. Can we humor me for a moment? Try putting the corpses on the table again. Just, just, just for funsies. Put that carcass on the table. I'll put that carcass on the table. I do not believe that one. No, no, I guess not. No. Oh. Subject is marked as a Fridnorian boar. Now the Probable cause of death is now nutrition. Okay. Now, take the, take the carcass off. I am not certain this is a Fridnorian boar. Oh, yeah, okay, boar. so we got that information. I see no way of using... Try, okay, try taking the, the carcass off the table. Mm -hmm. And put the one on the left on the table. That this one. one? Yeah, that one. Put that carcass on the Subject table. Marked. There we go. John Gibbon. Probable cause of death: massive infection by Naturov parasites. Mm -hmm. This parasite is not native to the Kujan habitat. Okay, so we know. We, this we can't put there. No. It, it's saying that we can't, unless we there's an order. That's one we've used because it, we have it's identified, but that one's just carcass. Oh, there Subject we go. There's an order. Ah. Uh, neural, neural energy. energy. Okay, so now, hear me out. Yes. Pick up the carcass. Yes. Call Tracker Melez again. Okay. And now we can discuss. I believe that. Oh, uh, we got track on it, yeah. Now I think we can discuss and be like, "Hey, what the fuck Open is up the with channel these to animals?" Tracker. Ch 
channels open. Whoa. There we go. Ah, yeah. I have some questions regarding several. Yeah. Of course. Oh, and these other two. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah we had to unlock that. Info. As a Kujan given yeah, yeah, how could this occur? I don't know. The watchers are the ones who care for the animals. Maybe they can help you. Okay. One creature experienced an energy drain within its neural pathways. It is untagged, but appeared to be a mole of some sort. It's probably a myocorde mole. They're quite common on Marassia. But I've never heard of one dying like this before. Oh my god. Oh, its cause of death is unusual, so but not unprecedented. Much dialogue yeah. in this game. I have personally encountered a species that consumed human neural energy for survival. Is there a preserve animal that might feed on myocorde neural energy? None that I know of. But perhaps the myocorde got caught in one of the generator power surges. But then it wouldn't be drained of energy. I don't know. Hmm. Uh, that seems like a threat. That's a threat, yeah. Let's do the top one. Has Dr. Hunforsch contacted you? No, I still have no scent of her. But I feel she will return <laughs> I feel soon. it in my bones. Yes. What exactly? The watchers feed and care for the preserved species. Okay. Smuggling is a serious offense. It would certainly jeopardize the acceptance of Alaska into the Federation. I hope you don't F it up. It would be too bad if something were to happen. Yes. Yeah. That's why she thought Constable Lixie might be involved, to thwart Federation entry. Thank you for your time. I wish you well on your search. Okay, so... Is there anything else we could have asked ax her? Open a channel. Channel? Oh! Oh, oh no. Thank you, Thank you for your... I wish you... Okay, try try talking to, um, consultant. Yeah, uh, Ian. Uh. Open the channel to... Channels... Aha! Uh -huh. Here nice. she is. I'm Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. As I told Constable Lixie, I don't know where she is. I don't Must know where she is. Must you interrupt my research with more pointless questions? This guy came... Yes. This guy came to shine in the voice acting booth. He came to party. Must you interrupt? I'm afraid so. According to the constable's report, you are the preserve's consultant. Yes, I help select and verify preserve species in the biotopes. The Morassians wanted a Federation expert, despite Lixie's objections. They were lucky to get me. You were the last to see Dr. Hune Forsh before her disappearance? As far as I know, that's not a crime. Um, yeah. Constable Lixie mentioned that you recommended the Ferengi trader Aramut for the second shipment. He delivers what you want on time. The constable gave me hell when she found out that he was a Ferengi. She barely tolerates me because I'm a male. Have an open mind. Yeah. I have some questions regarding several animal carcasses which we found in the doctor's Here laboratory. Animal carcasses in an exobiology lab? Well, that's certainly unusual. He's so snarky. He is. A creature tagged yeah. as a Fredonorian boar apparently died of starvation. Do you know how this could have occurred? Sounds like incompetence to me. The watchers blindly follow whatever care instructions they're given. No personal initiative at all. Well, that's the case, and it was the wrong boar. Yeah. Then they it died because totally you smuggled in, you big yeah. goober. Yeah, the boar's identity yeah. tag is incorrect. It is actually an Akana boar, a close genetic relative of the Frednorian. How many times do you However, think uh, Brett Spiner had to say Frednorian boar? How did this animal get into the preserve? I want to know how many times they had to learn to say Dr. Hyun Because everybody says it slightly differently. Yeah. yeah. It must have been smuggled in. You know, the watchers have requested restricted species before and were denied. Dr. Hyun must have found out about it. Wow. Crazy ass name. Yeah. Dr. Hyun Forsh. Hyun Forsh. Consultant, I am puzzled. Since you verify preserved species, you must have known this was an Akana. Mm -hmm. Get him, Data. Get him, Data. Oh. Oh. Objection. I didn't want to. I wanted the chance to study it. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. I'm so convinced. Who am I to deprive science of my brilliant research on such a specimen? Did the doctor confront any of the watchers with her suspicions? I think that's why she's missing. When she confronted them with the Akana, they must have stunned her. Those stunners don't trigger the surveillance system, so nobody knows about it. Oh. Why would the watchers resort to smuggling? 
They're fanatics out to save the endangered creatures of the universe. I've suspected them all along, especially when I discovered this missed tag. You see, these tags can only be reprogrammed by oh, a watcher. Oh, so they're reprogramming them. Yep. Yeah. A creature tagged as a Kujan gibbon died of a parasitic infection not found in its native habitat. How could this have occurred? I'd say it died of neglect. Those watchers don't know the first thing about dealing with animals. They're not scientists. They're glorified what zookeepers. What a roast to zookeepers. Why don't you go ask them about it? Hey, what's wrong with the zookeeper? That's an important job. Yeah. A mycorde mole experienced an electrical drain from its neural pathways. How could this have occurred? I'd say it died of neglect. <laughs> what? Those watchers don't it know. Died of a broken heart. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I'd like well. to know what you and the doctor discussed. When I saw her for supper the other day, she was talking about genetic samples from the I last shipment. Her for she knows I don't like to hear people talk while I eat, so she said little else. Wow. But Dr. Hoon Forch was cataloging Morassian species exclusively. Why would she want genetic samples from other animals in the preserve? I don't concern myself with the lab work of junior scientists. Now, do you mind? It's this dude. I have it's important this dude. It's this dude. It's this dude. Thank you for your time. Thank you for wasting it. Whoa! What a motherfucker! Whoa! What a piece of shit! Wow, I hate his accusation that the watchers are fanatics is certainly plausible. Collectors can be quite zealous in their pursuit of rare specimens. Oh yeah, that's like me with the uh, Pokemon. Oh yeah, uh huh. Yeah. It's the same Idiot thing. He certainly has a high opinion of himself. The thing he seemed most interested in was his reputation. Doesn't mean he's a bad guy. He could just be an asshole. That's true. Um, let's can we talk to someone else. Talk to Healer Zolus. Yeah. Open a cha channels. Open. Ooh. Okay. I am Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. Mm, a Starfleet officer. I was expecting this. Again. Whoa. Again. If I had just heard that voice, yeah. I would have been like, hello. All the eight women are like... Yeah. Basically, 1-900 number uh -huh. voices. Morassian women. Oh, you're right. Morassian. Morassian, please. How rude of me. Please. Morassian <laughs> women. These Morassian women are fine, is what I'm saying. Tracker Malas indicated that you knew of a confrontation between Dr. Hoon Forsh and the constable. Yes, the doctor mentioned it when she asked about Aramis. He's a Ferengi who provides us with alien species for the preserve. Was she inquiring about mistagged animals from his shipment? Yes, she had spoken to Zudan, yeah. one of the three watchers in charge of the last shipment. He told her to talk to Aramis. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Uh, yeah, let's do this one. Sure. Did the other watchers also tell her to speak to Aramut? I doubt it. The other watchers were at the quarantine shelter and suffered some kind of neural energy drain uh -huh. when the generators exploded. They've been comatose ever since. Zudan's the only watcher on duty now. Interesting. We have found several animals which suffered energy drains. Perhaps we could compare neuroscans to see if the injuries are similar. Interesting. I'll send you the watcher's neuroscans. You can view them on the bio table, but I recommend you speak to watcher Zudan. You can find him at the quarantine shelter. We should cool. go do that. Um... On several occasions, the watchers requested restricted species and were denied. Is it possible that Aramut was secretly supplying the watchers with illegal species? Aramit has a rather unsavory reputation. Oh, he's always the watchers on wouldn't have anything yeah, to do with someone quick. like that. Uh, but you can ask Zudan yourself. And a Ferengi. Quick... That's it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did Consultant Idia know of Aramut's reputation when he recommended him for a traitor? Considering how long Idia and Aramut have known each other, I would think so. Those two go back quite a while. There is a high school teen Idia buddy Idia drama of those on two. Aramut's ship. So thank you for your time. Mm, certainly. We Good luck to you. We didn't know about Idia that. Idia was the last to see Dr. Hoonforsh before right. she disappeared. Idia is friends with a Ferengi, and Ferengi traders are not known for their honor. Perhaps Idia is guilty. Maybe the Worf watchers may suffered oh. an electrical energy drain from their neural pathways, like the Myocorde mole. Oh, that's the internet. Maybe scan the. Oh, scan the, the image that's above the bio table. Oh, look, 
The watchers suffered an electrical energy drain from their neural. Okay, so we got the same information. Uh, resume. Let's do this. We'll do this. We'll go. Yeah. What if we ask consultant channels? I wish to ask you some. Look, I'm in the middle of some. No, what a dick! He refuses to talk to us! What a dick! Okay. We've talked to these three. Can we talk to any of these other Open ones? The chat. I think those are Chance? closed indefinitely. Yeah, okay. Let's talk to the warden. She's the one who's in, in charge of this whole fucking You're place. right. Yeah, we gotta talk to the warden. Uh, we gotta go to the office. Constable, sorry, constable. Hmm. Constable, I'm not gonna send Worf in. Um, Data? Data You've actually does pretty well. Maybe it. he can change yeah. her opinion of, of maybe, yeah. males. Yeah, maybe that's the whole point. Yeah. Is Data, the, oh, with Data the man made male, yeah. is the only male worth talking to? No, I'm afraid not. Nope, nothing. Is that it? Okay. Um, I guess we literally just have to go to the uh, one area that they said goodbye. Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta go to the quarantine area and talk to that other dude. Yes, we do. What is it? Uh, quarantine shelter. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. Which is funny, because there was no one there last time. You got to tell by the way I walk. You got to tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a fully functional android, and I'm down to fuck. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> that's, uh, he, that's, that, that's what he plays. Yeah, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Do, 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 do. It's okay. There's no railing on any of these walkways. This I is will very you dangerous. In a day. <laughs> Fall through that ship. That's what you do. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm down to the screw. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wasn't there supposed to be a person here? Yeah, the watcher right there. That ape is the watcher. Oh, hello. Sudan is one of three watchers <laughs> who were responsible for the second shipment of preserved animals. Can I talk to. Her? Oh my god. Here he goes. There he goes. Bye, Data. If he never came back up around <laughs> there and was gone forever. That was it. It's just. You yeah, have to they're not the... apes. You're right. They're not apes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Morassians. so dumb. The Morassians. Morassians. Uh, Damn, that's a Morassian. Yeah. Please give me some Morassian. I'm so <sighs> foolish. We're so foolish. Yeah, they're Morassians. I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They're Morassians. This is the longest. Meanwhile, the three of them are like, really, Data? It's like, should we be doing anything? No, it's fine. Are we? Should we do anything over here? Nope, we're good. No, don't worry about it. Oh, my God. He's got to walk all the fucking way. <laughs> I'm Lieutenant Commander Data of the Starship Enterprise. I'm investigating the absence of Dr. Hoon Forsh. I'm responsible for preserve animals, not Federation scientists. Oh, fuck you too, pal. Whoa, who is this guy? I am responsible for delivering this sausage pizza <laughs> with extra meat. What? I understand the no doctor tip? spoke to you of her concerns regarding smuggling in the preserve. Yes, she came here soon after the outages, ranting away. Imagine accusing me when I'm the one who told her about that boar mistagging. Hmm. Oh, there's a whole lot of things we can say. Were you the one that found the carcass? Were you the one who found the carcass? Yes. It died just before the outages, and I wanted her to test it. Okay. I have examined the neuroscans of the injured watchers. The electrical energy within their neural pathways has decreased significantly. How could that have happened? I don't know. During my His evening voice. rounds, oh, I found them unconscious next to the Saltus reptile cage. I carried them outside the shelter and was going for help when the generators exploded. Hmm. Uh, let's ask what creature was here. Why did oh, you not I'll ask get consultant there. Okay. idiot to test the cards? Okay. That's the big one. I gotta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't trust him. Always drugging and borrowing animals for his experiments. In the interests of science, he says. 
I don't know how he could have approved that mistagging in the first place. I'd like to imagine he did sort of like... Indian? Air quotes. Oh, yeah, I thought he did like a... Like, in the interest of science. I thought bar, but, you know, like ape air quotes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Morassian. Oh, I'm sorry, Morassian. Morassian I air quotes. I keep, I keep, keep screwing it up. It's okay. I did imagine the watcher sort of like stunner a, set off the preserve surveillance system? Yeah. Kind of thing, yeah. The system only detects signs of distress. Normal sleep does not raise an alarm. Likewise, stunners and neurotranquilizers also don't alert the system. Hmm. Unlike Idia and Aramit, we prefer stunners. Chemical sedation can be harmful. Consultant Idia mentioned that only watchers can change the ID tags. That's true, but the suppliers tag the animals first. We just match them up with the constable's shipping orders. Idia is responsible for verifying them. Is it true that the watchers' requests for restricted species were rejected? Only four species out of 112. Of course, we were upset at first, but once the preserve is completed, we can always try again. What creature was in this area? A two meter long, 180 kilogram saltus reptile, which came in on the last shipment. I found the watchers next to its cage the night of the outages. Uh -huh. Is still missing. But here's the thing. Yes? So. A saltus reptile, right? Yeah. And it's missing. Right. But everything's mistagged. Right. It's not a saltus reptile, it's something else. True. But we don't know what My that is. My readings show traces of a tranquilizing agent in its waist. Aramut always doses his animals with neurotranquilizers, just like Idia. We had to feed the reptile intravenously for days. Whoa. It finally woke up right before the accident, just in time to escape. These readings share the same ionic residue as samples found near other creatures drained of electrical energy. And this cage is also next to the drained generator. Perhaps Data the gets it. reptile is a mistagged animal that uh -huh. consumes electrical Data energy. Data gets it. He understands now. But there were no now. reports of it being seen near any of the power outages. And that reptile isn't easy to miss. Unless it's found a way to turn itself invisible, you're going to need another theory. We have encountered several species capable of phasing out of the time continuum and, in effect, becoming invisible. Mm -hmm. We have also encountered species who consumed human neural energy. Mm -hmm. The saltus reptile well, may be a life form with similar characteristics. Well, if you believe so, I suppose it's possible. <laughs> He's cool that's the, mo that's the most, like, dismissive way of saying it. It's like, well, if you think so. Yeah, if you think so. Yeah. Sorry you feel that way. Yeah, let's ask when you... When, we when did you last that. see Dr. Hune Forsh? I haven't seen her for some time. I've been busy recovering animals which escaped during the power outages. It's not easy work. The last time I saw her, I sent her to talk to Aramut. Do you think that shuttle is his shuttle? No, he has like Thank a you ship. For your time. That's just a shuttle. What's I'm just saying, step now? but it could be his shuttle to his ship. Idia persuaded the constable to use Aramut, and Idia is also capable of verifying mistagged species. And he had the neurotranquilizers to knock out Dr. Hun Forge if she posed a threat to him. Interesting. Oh. Only stunners or drugs could disable someone without setting off the surveillance systems. Idia has a supply of neurotranquilizers. We we should talk to the constable now, I think. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Okay, we're going we're gonna to try this. Uh, so if we walk to Constable's office, apparently it's shift. Oh! Whoa! Yep, shift works. Cruising. Wow, we got there very fast. Yeah, never mind. Okay, that helps. Constable, we have reason to believe that Consultant Idia smuggled rare species into the preserve through his friend Aramut. Are you trying to pick up where Dr. Hunforsch left off? She accused nearly everyone else of the same thing. Consultant Idia persuaded you to hire Aramut, and he knowingly verified mistagged animals. He also uses neurotranquilizers, which could have stunned Dr. Hunforsch without triggering your surveillance systems. Idia's been nothing but trouble since he got here. This time he's gone too far. Ooh, I'll save him so we can this settle game. this once and here for all. Here comes. Whoop! <laughs> there she goes. 
Okay, so we gotta wait. You actually <laughs> he just poses. You literally just have to wait. Can I talk to the bird? I can talk to the bird. I don't think she says anything though. Whoa. Visitors for Constable Lixie. Constable Lixie is present. All right. Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! We asked that? consultant idiot to go to your office. He went to get some items, then suddenly beamed out. He seems to be gone. Where did Who? he go? Time out. Who is this? That's a computer. That is. Who is this? It's a computer. That is the goofiest goober that ever existed. I want future computers to ha look like that. That's terrifying. Yeah. He must have called Aramut for help. The Ferengi has a subspace transporter. See if you can find Dr. Hunforsch. There's a woman here asleep with a gag over her mouth. Maybe she knows. Ah, uh, probably not. That's her, you idiot. Wake her and send her here. And have a look around idiot's office This isn't the computer. This is a man. He might yeah. have left this is a evidence. person looks like this. <laughs> That's their species. Listen, don't comment on it. Their species is literally a wavy gravy. <laughs> That's what happens when they think real hard. That is unnecessary. What is happening? They're showing off their computer graphics. Damn. Uh, talk to... Oh, there she is. Oh, yeah, here she comes. Have you captured it yet? Uh, no. Yet. But Unfortunately, I'd like to capture he escaped heart. with Aramut. This Federation team was sent to find you. Perhaps they can help. Okay. Hello. I'm Lieutenant Commander Data of the Enterprise. We will apprehend Idia and Aramut. Forget them. We have to recapture the Mistag Sultis. It's already killed dozens of animals and destroyed several containment field generators. The creature must be captured. Constable, can we use the force field at the quarantine shelter? The shelter force field will not help us. The creature escaped once, and it will escape again. Perhaps we can rephase the force field energy frequencies. The creature may not be able to adapt quickly enough to the changes. That might work. But the only place we can rephase the force field power is at the main power grid. I will go to the main power grid and perform the necessary modifications. Good. The power grid is on the other side of the preserve. Take the one of the shuttles. shuttles. Okay, gotcha. so that's what the shuttles I hate were. to interrupt, but just how are we supposed to lure this creature back to the shelter? Um, uh, cries energy. We can attempt to channel all available energy in the shelter wait, generators. Wait, wait, wait. Harmonic collector is capable of emitting high energy EM fields. Because the harmonic collector is for, like, emitting. I literally don't know. I do, but I want you to. I want you to decide. Yeah, but what? Are we able to use that at the shelter? Shelter generators. We don't want to overload the shelter generators. Yeah, because that would. Um, That's yeah. Well, all right, let's just do the top one. The harmonic collector. Yeah. The harmonic collector is capable of emitting high energy EM fields. We may be able to use it at the shelter. Yes, that should do it. V, I'll send one of the watchers with you to the shelter to help set it up. If we can get the field power rephased, we might get that thing under control. I'll stay and monitor the situation from here. <laughs> AKA, I'll do nothing. Yeah, I'll hang out with my bird friend. I'll pull him in Philia and stay here and monitor everything. <laughs> um. Okay, so I guess we're leaving. Yeah, so now we have to go to the shuttle bay. Yep. Yeet. And data. Yep. He sonics his way through this entire he thing. He really does. Walk to the shuttle. Yep. You shuttle? Oh, no, we're taking off. And they instantly crash. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know how to fly this. Okay. okay. So we've got, I want to look at other things besides that main. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Thanks, Data. I said, then we have this board, utilities network. The utility trunk controls the field energy distribution to the waveguide conduit networks. Jesus, that is a lot of techno babble. I do not believe that. Whoa. Whoa. The energy fields are responding. Frequency phasing complete. That was easy. Constable, has the harmonic collector been arranged? 
Yes, but Dr. Hunforsch needs your help at the quarantine shelter. The only watchers I could find are needed to oversee the other biotopes. We will be there. Just one more thing. Zudan tells me those generators won't hold up for long, and we can't afford to send much power to the shelter right now. Many biotopes are already on reserve power only. We will review the situation at the shelter when we arrive. Where will you be? I'll be controlling electrical systems from my office. What's the purpose then of this? Then I have to call an emergency what meeting of the Morassian Constabulary to explain just what's going on. The constabulary? Call the constable. Call the constabulary. Can you? What is this? Can you use that? I do not believe that will. No. This is the utilities distribution network. It control. I guess we just had to come here and talk to her. Hang on. Press the uh, press the menu button for a second. Yes. Okay, never mind. Maybe I'm crazy. Yeah. Save. First of all, press enter. Yeah, press enter to save. I... I'm wondering if we're not getting some of the puzzles... This is the utilities district... ...on a lower difficulty. Maybe. We can change it when we're back on the Enterprise. If we want to. Walk to screen. How do I just leave? Oh. Yeah. Oh wow, they sent us straight here. Yeah, they did. Okay, um, talk? Have you devised a means to trap the creature? It's all set up, but I need you to operate those consoles while I keep an eye on the creature from here. What do you wish me to do? The harmonic collectors hooked into console two. Once activated, it'll emit high energy pulses to lure the creature in. Okay, so console two. Yeah. Use console two. That thrusting action is uncomfortable. Oh man. I'm not okay with that. Uh, okay, then talk to her, maybe? What is the next step? Once the creature gets here, close the gates. The control Okay, once the creature gets here, the controls are on console one. So to there it is! Get it! And then use console three, I think. Ah, oh my God. We fucking killed him. You dumb shit. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. We did it. Now, what took you so long to find me? Jeez, you're welcome, lady. The investigation was actually quite short in duration. Apparently, your absence was not keenly felt. Wow. Constable Lixie had attributed your absence to a field trip. Wow. She was probably still upset that I accused her of smuggling. I suppose I should apologize to her. Now that I know Idiot was behind the whole thing. N now no, that I know. I'll kiss. I'll kiss that no, Morassian. Morassian. Now you kiss that Morassian. How did Consultant Idiot learn that you suspected him? Did you accuse him of smuggling as well? I didn't confront him. I was just looking for information. But after I asked him about the Sultis, he must have panicked and decided to drug me. I should have suspected when he invited me to dinner. He hates what? to hear people talk while he eats. Jeez. It I appears actually, the watchers knew I, nothing of Idiot's scheme to smuggle rare animals into the preserve it. through Aramut. Yeah, I'd rather people talk at me while yeah. I ate. Yeah. Than me, because what happens is I'll talk and then I just won't touch the food. Yeah, right? You're just waiting because you're having a conversation. Yeah, I'd rather listen to someone talk. It's like watching TV. Yeah, exactly. They were the ones who brought the mistag board to my attention in the first place. They uh, weren't smuggling it. Uh, Idio was uh, totally passing the buck. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, consultant Idia underestimated this reptile's appetite for electrical energy. That egotist. Oh. Thinking he could get away with it. Some of these animals are even from Romulan space. Did he think I wouldn't notice? Are you certain the animals are Romulan in origin? It would take more tests to be certain, but they definitely came from Romulan space. It's not surprising. Aramut does a lot of trading along the neutral zone. So this guy was basically mm. just a jackass. But, but it's an animal that consumes power. Uh huh. And that giant ship, that little thing was consuming power from the core of the space station. What will happen to this reptile? I'm sure Constable Lixie will want to send it back, unless I can convince her to keep it here. A creature like that doesn't come by every day. I never thought of that. 
I believe the captain will yeah, they're want both to pursue from Romulan space and or Guridian space or incident significantly part of the original oh, of the preserve. Don't know. It'll be a little behind schedule, but I have a few suggestions to help them speed things up. Then it is time we return to the Enterprise. Good luck, Doctor. Good luck, Doctor. Beam us up. There we go. We done it. We solved the mystery. We did solve a mystery. Yeah, and but we didn't rewrite history. Captain's log supplemental. Uh-oh, supplemental. Our successful attempt to locate Dr. Hunforsch has uncovered another mystery. Apparently, the creature responsible for the chaos on Marassia may have yep. come from Romulan space. Yup. We are currently searching for the Ferengi trader Aramut. Despite somewhat questionable trading practices, he has never violated Federation law da, da, da. until now. Ah. Captain. Tabak asks. Yo, T Bak! Yo, T Bak? T Bak! T Bak related to I heard about what happened on Morassia. That creature you discovered. It sounds exactly Yo, like See a what I was saying? A Caridian creature. Except the Veranak was a What I say? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? It's exactly like the robo thing that was sucking up the power from the station. You think they're from the same... Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm. I don't remember anything after this mission. So after we play this mission, mm -hmm. this is all gonna be news to me. I'm gonna tell you, I am convinced. Yes. Whatever's going on, there's yeah. like an... The, the fifth scroll, mm -hmm. one of those lost tribes mm -hmm. is still around. And they're coming back, y'all. And it's about to get crazy. Shit's about to go down. Shit's about to get crazy. How could a Ferengi trader get hold of an extinct animal? We gotta find this guy. I have a theory. The followers brought oh, many see? animals with them when they see? Oh, see? shit. That this creature came from the followers' colony. So if we learn where he got the animal, we may learn where the fifth scroll is. All coming is. together. I got it all figured out up in my brain hole. I got I it all think figured out. This is a promising lead to pursue. But the question is, right? Mm -hmm. The question is, yeah. what does that have to do with that ship that was sucking the power? Well, I feel like the ship is from the Lost Colony, and they learned how to do it by having those animals. Like, they studied those animals. Because ah. it's the same, it's, it's possibly the same thing. Plus, when that animal showed up at the beginning, when he came through the, like, the screen, it was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was cloaked, and it wasn't until he got to the to the pyramid thing that he when shocked was he uncloaked. Oh, he had the chameleon shit. thing going for him too. They learned it from that guy, and that's how they're able to use their technology. I learned it from watching you. Yep, damn right. Oh, I got man, I got figured out. Damn. I got figured out. Picard. Okay, okay. Captain, we found Aramut. Uh -oh. A Ferengi trader should be at Jawward Three. I almost thought that say Joshua Tree. <laughs> he should be, be at Joshua, Joshua Tree. Tree. Set a course for the Jawward system. Engage. 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 Whoa. We're already at warp 9.2. We are cruising. We gotta get there fast. Yeah. Watch this. Yeah. Warp 9.2, watch this. Boom. Yeah, we are we are flying. There's a lot of stars. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of uh a lot of shit out there. SZA's jamming right now. Entering Federation space. Whew. We made it. Yeah, warp 9.2. We're almost there. Yeah. That was fast. Why did they include Jaward 3 as part of Federation? Helm, uh -oh. standard orbit. According to Aramut's flight plans, he should have arrived at Jaward 3. Mr. Data, report. There is no ship in this vicinity. However, sensors are picking up subspace induction vortices headed for the Nigold system. Oh. Set a course for the Nigold system. Are we just... Chasing him? Engage. I think we're just chasing him, which by the way, this is a completely scripted sequence. We are not pressing any buttons right now. By the way, mm -hmm. we're going 9.2. There's no way a Ferengi ship is going 9.2. Warp 9.2. The Enterprise had one of the best warp yeah. systems yeah. around. Yeah. There's no way that, that they can beat us. Yeah. It, we if were... anything, we should show up there before him and be like, what up? Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Fries, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> What an amazing As I love that one. Give set. That's a great old, so that's a great Captain, old bit. We are approaching Oh, here he is. Alright. Um Shields up, Mr. Wolf. Uh hail them, Mr. Wolf. Scan the ship. Um Let's hail them. Should we talk Hail them, first? Mr. Wolf. Yeah. yeah, because that's what Picard does. He doesn't yeah. jump in. He's no he's no Kirk. Yeah. They are not responding. Oh man. Shields up lock phasers. 
do we want to? Because we're not gonna do it, but we wanna. We want them to respond. And how's a Ferengi gonna respond? Or do, would that make him run? I don't know. I don't know how Ferengi would respond to this. Prepare tractor beam, helm, take us into range. He could fire on us. Yeah. Because we don't. Because we don't shield. But he's like it, that. Would be like fighting a tank with a pin. You know, it's like we don't know that. Like I don't know yeah, what his ship is. I have true. no idea what is. Can I look at the screen? Let's scan the ship. Oh uh, yeah. Scan the ship. I want to know if Idiot is on board. His hull is lined with a neutronium alloy. What? Our sensors are unable to penetrate. What? They are attempting to flee. At maximum speed, they will be out of range in 12 seconds. Uh, lock shields phasers. up, lock phasers. Shields up, Mr. Wolf. Lock phasers. Mr. Wolf, open a channel. <laughs> Aye, Captain. This is Captain um, Jean-Luc Picard. Uh, you in violation. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Starship Enterprise. This is a little Kirkish, You are in but, violation yeah. of Federation trade laws. If you do not surrender immediately, we will be forced to take action. I am Aramis. Whoa! FMB. traitor. I am not a criminal. Why does the Federation Look at this uh, TOS back set, by the way. I like it. Yeah, right? I like it. Yeah. You are wanted for smuggling. You will accompany us to the nearest starbase where you will be turned over to the proper authorities. Accusations require proof, Captain. I do not think Starfleet Command would enjoy hearing how you bullied a defenseless traitor based only upon your suspicions. Can we just take a moment to yeah. realize mm -hmm. that this guy is the exact same voice actor as the uh, uh, Morassian man that was back on the planet? Was it? Exact same guy, <laughs> except that was his he like... He's kind of doing this. Yeah, the other voice is like... I have no emotions. I'm an ape man. And now this guy's I'm a like, space goblin. Ooh, yeah, yeah. I'm, ooh, I'm so seedy. Yeah, yeah. Blah, exact same voice. Blah, blah, blah. Your last shipment to Marassia included several protected species banned from import under Federation law. Nonsense. All of my animals are perfectly legal. The animals listed in your records may have been legitimate, Adamant, but those weren't the ones you shipped. The restricted species were deliberately mistagged. This is a terrible shock to me, Captain. Oh, my god. My suppliers must have substituted the illegal animals to fill their orders. It is a sad thing when a supplier cheats an honest businessman like myself. I'm glad we could clear up this misunderstanding so quickly. If that is all, I'll be on my way. Perhaps the Romulans would be interested to learn that several of the species you transported came from their space. I think I'll send them a report. You do know what Romulans do to smugglers, Damn. don't you? Damn! Picard just, like, got him. That was... Got oh. him. Yo, Picard's like... Picard's playing, like, nine-dimensional badminton yeah, right now. He's playing that chess that's, like, 3D. Yeah, that the always 3D chess. Playing 10 forward, yeah. Did you know that you could, there's actually a, th a version of 3D chess you can play? Hell yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. It's got a unicorn piece. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I, I, try, I wanted to get into it, but I, I, never, I never did. What lies are you spreading, human? I didn't take any Romulan species. They were from Phrygis. Oh, gotcha. Well, if we're mistaken, I'm sure you can explain everything to the Romulans when they find you. I am sure we can negotiate a deal, Captain That's Picard. Right. That's, That's what we right. Want. The only thing I'm willing to negotiate is your surrender, as well as Idia's. You can take Idia, but I can tell you much in exchange for my freedom. Perhaps you'd be interested in some unusual movements of the Romulan mm. fleet. This is this is interesting here. Mr. Data, transmit the coordinates of the brig so that Adamat can beam Idia to his new quarters. All right, Adamat. Damn, you got a deal. We sold that Deal dude out. <laughs> dealing. And now we're like, good, tell us about the yeah. Romulans. <laughs> Damn. Sell, Damn. sell your friend out. It is a fair exchange. You may have Idia and my shipping records immediately. Wow. Now. For the information you have purchased, I hear reports from the other side of the neutral zone, not that I have ever been there, of course, about a massive refit of the Romulan fleet. What? Mm. What kind of refit? They've upgraded the warp coils and added secondary power cores to many warbirds. The weapon systems suffer, of course. It may even impair cloaking ability, but they could easily outlast any Federation vessel at maximum warp. It sounds as if the Romulans are in a race, one they want to win very badly. Where do they want to go? Who can say what the Empire does or does not want? But a merchant always watches the spending habits of potential customers. So they want to find the fifth scroll before the Ghirardellis. 
the the, you're a deli. The, uh, the, but that's the a gra- Garassians. But that's a Garidian matter. That doesn't, that That's the fake Romulan matter. We yeah, want to know. But what if but what if they know about the weapons and the power stuff? And what if they're like we need to get there before them? That's interesting. For example, there has been a sharp rise in the price of ancient Khan and Chodak relics in sectors near the neutral zone. Interesting information, if it's true. I would never cheat you, Captain. Yeah. Now, this has been very entertaining, but I do have other customers. The Ferengi is moving away. Warp 5. Blow him up, Let him go. Way. We have what we came for. Captain, the report on Aramut's shipment is in the computer. There's Apparently fairies. the animals which Dr. Hoon Forge thought were from Romulan space actually came from Shoniosho Epsilon 6, uncharted territory. Shoniosho <laughs> <laughs> Epsilon... Can we just take a moment? Jonathan breaks. Okay, here's here's exactly here's exactly how that line reading went. Imagine this cup is filled with rum. Okay, he went. Apparently, the animals Doctor Hoon Forsh, uh, Fortish thought were from Romulan space actually came from Shoniosho Epsilon Six. The pause he took before. Go back and re rewatch that. Somebody clip that. The pause he took before he said that was so long. You know he was in the booth. He's and like, he just looked over at whoever was recording him like, are you serious? He looked over and somebody had the cue card with like the phonetic spelling of it out there. And he was like, came from... Captain, the report from... Aramut shipment is in the computer. Apparently, the animals, which Doctor Hyun Forsh, like you can literally hear Doctor, him pause. Yeah, yeah. thought of Robbie's space actually came from big ass pause. Shoni Osho Epsilon Six. Shoni Osho Epsilon Six. God damn, that was funny. Yeah. I'll be sure to look at that report soon. Number one. There's more, Captain. Oh, okay. He's we can like check oh, on those more, animals right? in the Federation morphology database. These creatures are definitely related to species from Garrett. Okay, so we know that the followers mm-hmm. went to uh, Shushine, Shushine uh, Epilepsy yeah. 6. Yeah. yeah. Shonoishu Epsilon <laughs> It didn't even say it the same way. As Aramut calls it, might just be our lost Garidian colony. Cool. Time out. Did he really say it differently? He did. Somebody Shoney go back. Shoney Osho was the first one, can and then somebody, they said shooting you, shooting you shoot. Can somebody uh, politifact me on that? Yeah, did we, can we get a fact check on that? Yeah, did he can, say it differently? Can you do a rewind? Did he just say that differently? Yeah, yeah. Shoeshine Epilepsy 6. Yeah, Shoeshine Epilepsy 6. Well, Shoeshine Epilepsy 6. Be sure to alert our guests. Lay in a course for Shono Isho Epsilon No, six. and they're all <laughs> saying it different. Everyone's saying it different. <laughs> Why do the rules exist if you're just gonna break them? <laughs> oh my god. This doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Fake <incredible>. planet. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game. I love this game so much. We need someone mark this, someone clip this. Yeah. I need to start making animations for the channel. <laughs> This is one of them. I, I already have it planned in my head. The animation is this, but we're just crew members on the yeah, ship. We're in the back. We're just in the background. And Picard's like giving us the stink eye. Like, <laughs> we're just like, you're not even Are saying you it right. Are you laughing at the way I'm saying this planet name? <laughs> it's fucking turning around in the game. <laughs> He's giving us shit. He's giving us the stink eye right now. This is the clip. Oh, this is the it. clip. That's too good. Oh my oh. god. Okay. Aye, sir. <laughs> yep. Engage. Engage. Oh wow, we're we're, we're only uh, war five. We're yeah, we have to go to to Shushine Epilepsy Six. Yep. Oh, it's fifty light years away. Well, maybe I can talk to. <laughs> There's the walk. Yeah. T back. Captain. Uh-huh. We must discover where Edamut obtained the Veranek. Find the Veranek. We find the followers. 
and the fifth scroll. We might be on track to get the fifth scroll. We That's what I'm saying. We must locate the fifth scroll, Captain. Returning it to Garrett will prove the plebeians have rights too. The freedom. I always thought it was plebeians. Stake. I thought it was. Uh, That's how my dad said it. I thought it was because they're plebs. I thought it was plebeians. Yeah. But she's saying plebe. Look, I don't think it effing matters. What do you intend to do with the uh -oh. fifth scroll if you find it? We will present it to our people. After all these centuries, the plebeians will finally achieve their rightful place in Korea. Can you society. fucking imagine if there was like Declaration of Independence 2? Yeah. And there was like a se it's like the four the founding fathers wrote a sequel to the Declaration of Independence. Yeah, uh, Nicholas Cage was in that one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, National yeah. Treasure 2. Where they found the sequel. Yeah. Avaka. Please, Captain. In the name of justice for <laughs> my amazing hair. Yeah, please. Help us she does find have the incredible fifth scroll hair. and bring it back to Garrett. Okay, forty. No, no, no. Let's no, here. No, go no. to your go to your astro astro. Uh, hold on. While we're going. Oh, this is so dumb. Admiral Williams here. What can I do for you, Captain? We should talk to the admiral. I think that's the same voice as Constable Let's see. Possibly. Um. Uh, current order, assessment of recent performance. We can report and say that... Yeah, we should do this. Yeah. Admiral, we've uncovered evidence which indicates that a mythical group of Garidians known as the Followers may actually exist. Interesting. What did you find? We identified several creatures on Marassia as Garidian species previously thought to be extinct. They came from the Shono Isho Epsilon system. <laughs> which he said, said it different again. He said it different colony. again. You can't I'm, keep doing that. I'm positive. All right, I'm no voice director. Right. But if I had a line like that, mm -hmm. I would make them all say it back to back to back to back. Yeah. I feel like this is one of those things where they just had them read different parts of the script on different days, mm -hmm. and this shit is like day eight and day 12. Yeah. He had to read this, and he's yep. like, I don't remember what I said. Shono, Shana, Shanawana. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to investigate that system further. The followers' descendants could still be alive. Permission granted, Captain. Good luck with your search. You can you can Thank get a you, little Admiral. like um. Oh yeah, okay. So we oh, got permission I'm... from Starfleet. To yeah, do it. Starfleet wants us to go. That's it. I feel like ahem, ahem, I feel like uh, Starfleet just lets Picard do whatever. Warnings. He wants. Yeah. Entering Nebula. Oh okay. Can I view it on the view screen? I think it's the same. <laughs> I don't think they rendered any other any other travel things. Counselor Troy, talk. Counselor, do you have any thoughts? I'm sorry, Captain, but I. You are useless. Mr. Data, any I suggest we. What we just did. I don't think they any have suggestions, you number one. Let's go to the holodeck. I'm sorry, Captain. I don't have any suggestions right now. That don't involve me going to ten forward. <laughs> I could use a drink. Getting a stiff one. Um. Yeah, I guess we just wait. We're at warp five. We're almost there. Can I shift through warp? No. I think you gotta. You can crank up the warp speed. Or you can so just do dumb. impulse. Yeah. Isn't impulse like Entering regular ass normal space. space? Yeah, it's like you're just chilling. Yeah. Chilling in space. Mm -hmm. We're almost there. This is the slowest. <laughs> we'll get there, I think. Captain's log. Whoa. Here we go, here we go. Cutscene. The Enterprise has arrived in the Shono Isho Epsilon system. According to Adelaide's data, said it we expected again. to find the world where the followers settled. However, our sensors show no Class M planets in the system at all. It shows no Class M planets, but that's just what our sensors say. Damn. Damn, you just... He looked back. He looked back at us like, he you guys like, are smart as shit. He's like... Yeah. Uh, okay. Can we... Talk do we to, want to be? We, to there's data. no. Yeah, data. What do we do? Data. Yeah. Is it possible there's something we missed? I can attempt to enhance the scan matrix. That may increase our <laughs> yeah. sensor resolution. Make our scan better. Yeah. Enhance. Make it so. Make it so. What about you, Troy? I don't think Aramut was lying to us about this location, Captain. I do sense life out there, but it's hard to be more specific at this distance. If the followers are out there, how do you propose we locate them? These are people who fled from persecution on Garid. They might be hiding deliberately. It may be better to let them locate us by sending out a general message of friendship. <laughs> this is a big smile Perhaps one emoji. of our passengers could think of something that would encourage the followers to talk respond. To our, uh, talk to our fellows. 
uh, Tibok. Yeah. We've arrived at Aramut's coordinates, but if the followers are here, they're hiding. Do you suppose they'd respond to a message of friendship? Perhaps they would pay attention to someone who quoted the lawgiver. Captain, if you patch me through your comm system, I could send out an appropriate message. What if the Garidians just Make did so. that, though? And then I they were like, it. hey, the and followers the are here. And just put guns at it. Maybe. He said of the ruling council, they have taken my words and engraved them backwards. <laughs> the door just closed. And <laughs> that's it, dramatically. What about Lucana? Too long have we been the slaves of our patrician men. Ah, uh, she's still on that train. Please, Captain. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Um, Talk to data. What about you, number one? Well, it was worth a try. Okay, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> oh, that is so sad. <laughs> so, no. Any suggestions, number one? I'm sorry, Captain. Talk to Data. Mr. Data, any suggestion? I suggest we contact oh Starfleet. Oh my what? god. Mr. Worf, your analysis. Captain, we should... Sir. Who is uh -oh. this that Whoa. knows the Whoa. lawgiver's lament? Whoa. Oh, hi. This guy. Hey, what's up? Sorry got... about your forehead. Yeah, wow. Oh, he's got the same forehead thing that, um... Dengar from Star Wars has? Is he Dengar? This might be Dengar. <laughs> this, is this intergalactic bounty hunter Dengar, Dengar we're talking to? Yeah. Dengar, is that you? I am Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Federation Starship Enterprise. With whom do I have the honor of speaking? I shall need more information before I can trust you. Tell me more about yourself. Do you like long walks on the beach? <laughs> we represent the United Federation of Planets. We are on a mission of peace. Is that why your ship is bristling with weapons? Oh, well, that's a uh, you don't have firm to indictment you don't have to of the mission of the Federation. That up. Oh my God. Listen, this for self defense. Wow, he just shit on you. Wow. Wow. Oof. We use our weapons purely for defense. Yeah. I see. And would the Federation be willing to defend us? Starfleet protects all of Federation space, which includes this system. If you wish, your world could even apply for Federation membership. I don't think the Romulans or Garidians would like that. They both have made claims on this world. That's why the Romulans were speeding up. Yeah, everyone's they trying to get their get fleets here. there. Yeah. yeah. That is unfortunate, but immaterial. Your planet is in Federation space. If you ask for our assistance, we will give it. That is a noble attitude. Hmm. <laughs> Peace out. Yeah, bye. Oh, we, we, we should let them talk to the... Yeah. Yeah. We have several Garidian refugees aboard. They are seeking to bring the wisdom of the Lawgiver's fifth scroll back to Garid. Garid had its chance, and it cast the Lawgiver and our ancestors aside. It is too late to mend their relations with wow, us now. Wow, hold a wow. grudge. Jeez, Damn. a thousand years. These are reformers hoping to use the Lawgiver's words to improve Garidian society. That is a cause the Lawgiver would have approved. You've given me much to think about, Captain. Allow me a few moments to consider it. I understand. We will remain in orbit and await your response. <laughs> okay. It never gets old. Okay, um... Councillor Troy. Councillor, do you have any thoughts? I'm sorry, Captain, you but I don't have any You have nothing to say about what just happened? Right Talk to our Garidian pals. Talk to T-Bac. T-Bac, help me out. The fifth scroll could be the yeah, greatest yeah. social discovery in... Riker? Any suggestions, number one? I promise you it's one. nothing. I'm sorry, Captain, I don't... Sorry, Mr. Captain, Wolf. I don't see Captain. anything on screen that I can have sex Mr. with. Mr. Data. I suggest we... What if... All right, what if we actually... Oh! I'll speak with you again later. Oh, hey, us. I think we literally have to wait. Admiral One minute. Williams here. Yeah. Uh, what? Tell me good things about myself. Yeah, What's your assessment of our recent performance? You did good work on Marassia. Dr. Hunforsch is back at work with the Preserve, and relations with the Marassians have improved noticeably since your visit. Damn right. Hell yeah. Shall I go on? Yes. Yes, please. Please do. The Enterprise responded to a distress oh, call from Merton. It goes backwards. You say, shall I go on? Uh, no, thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um... What is the current... Aside from some Romulan activity along the border, things are fairly That's calm. what he was hinting at. Uh, yep, but we have received crazy. an official complaint from Garrett regarding the refugees. This is a tricky diplomatic situation, and it would help if you found the fifth scroll or proved it didn't exist. Hmm. Okay, we're working on it. Yeah. Picard out. Picard out. Sir, we are being hailed. Hey. On screen. I have decided to trust you. Hey. I am Larak, Chancellor of the planet, Phrygis. How did you know we were here? 
A Ferengi trader claimed he picked up some Garidian animals here. Aramut. We started dealing with him to purchase some outside technology, and we gave him some animals in return. Fortunately, we never told him much about ourselves. How do you manage to conceal your entire planet? The technology is similar to the Romulan cloaking device. It fools sensors into misreading what they see. We had to protect ourselves in case Garrett's forces came after us. It's very similar. We don't look. But they aren't okay. Everything's connected to these guys right now. We yeah. don't know that they're responsible, but everything's connected to them. Yeah. They're persons of interest. Yes. POI. May I send some of my crew down to learn more about you. Since our deception is discovered, I suppose there is no harm in letting a small number of off-worlders visit. But there must be no Garidians in the party. They have not yet earned our trust. Whoa! I agree to your terms, Chancellor. I shall send my first officer, Commander We Riker, didn't even as my make models for them. Don't worry. <laughs> Good, Captain. It is always gratifying to deal with a man of reason. I will transmit the landing coordinates to your computer. What are you looking at? Where is line of sight just, like looks, over there somewhere? He's got the thousand yard stare. He he's seen Thank some you. he's seen some scrolls, man. Number one, this is he's an extremely important first contact situation. So I want I'm sending you, you the bang team. everything else away. You can just the fifth grease yourself up and go action. in. <laughs> There's no reason for clothes, Riker. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I'll be there. Oh <laughs> uh, wait, we should save. Oh, you're right. Um, actually. Yeah. Riker gets ass. <laughs> uh, it's Enter. Good. Just to verify. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Confirm. Confirm. Transporter. <laughs> that Riker strut. Whoa, we're sending Jordy? Oh, why is Jordy going? That's interesting. Beam yeah. down coordinates oh, selected. I think I remember why Jordy is. Probably the Jordy and Jordy need to go because of the technology. technology yeah. Troy needs to go to figure out what's going on with these guys' heads, and Riker needs to go get ass. <laughs> get dead ass. Needs to get May it. May the lawgiver's spirit smile on you. I am Chancellor Larak. Welcome to Frigius. Welcome indeed. Yeah. Okay. It's on his head. Um, an egg. Like everything has an egg on it. Maybe Thank you for letting deal. us beam down. I'm Commander William Riker of the Starship Enterprise. Except for Aramut, we have not had outworld visitors since the Lawgiver brought us here. I have thousands of questions to ask, but I will do it at another time. How can I help you, Commander Riker? Um, what are these pyramids? <laughs> what? I love how I love how the options are like, like we need information about this main mission, or the other also, option is like, hey, what the fuck are these? <laughs> <laughs> like we have. We need a socio-political document, thousands of years old, that may bring peace to a war-torn world. Or also, what's up with these pyramids, bro? Yeah, what are these pyramids? Why are you wearing a pyramid on your head? We're looking for information about the fifth scroll your lawgiver brought here with him. Why are you aliens interested in our scroll? I guess we are the aliens, huh? It may be the only way to prevent a civil war back on Garrett. Can you help us? I am afraid not. I am only in charge of the civil government. That is a religious matter. So you must ask the leaders of the sects for help. <laughs> He's like, I He's got like, some sex. sex. <laughs> Did someone say sex? <laughs> no, that's not what I asked. What I heard. <laughs> Troy, get the lube. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Rika, that was my Troy voice. That's no, not. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's only been a thousand years since the lawgiver left Garrod. Has your religion had such serious splits in so short a time? Sadly, yes. Even before the Lawgiver's death, his disciples began to disagree over the way his writings should be interpreted. They each made a copy of the Fifth oh, Scroll that geez. emphasized their own particular biases no. over all the others. Oh boy. We're gonna that have to figure out confusing. which one is real. It was worse than that. The Lawgiver became disgusted with them and exactly hid his what original we have to manuscript. Do. Oh, gross. that no one would find it until the sects learned to cooperate. Gross. From the way you're talking, I guess they never have. An accurate appraisal. The lawgiver said he left the keys to the scroll's location with each of the sects. But so far, after centuries of feuding, all the sects have done is formalize their competition into the declaratory. The King James scroll. Oh, That's really no. funny. The declaratory. Yes. A series of philosophical contests the sects hold every decade. What? The winner has the right to collect some prize from the loser. 
Are we gonna? Can we send I, Data to have a debate? Okay, I'm starting to remember this. I don't remember the specifics of any of these puzzles, uh -huh. but I'm remembering that you basically have to go around challenging the different branches and winning these competitions. Done. We can do this. Yeah. We can do this. And you know what? We brought Riker. Yeah. He's Riker. ready to fucking go. Um, yeah, fuck and go. Yeah, Riker. fuck and go. Yeah, Riker's gonna do this. Yeah. What are these pyramids? <laughs> the pyramids are relics of an ancient race called the Chodak. Oh. They were here long before we arrived from Garrod. Each sect adapted a pyramid to serve as a transporter to their temple. So the Chodak... The Chodak, okay, ...are so the race that was... So the Chodak are the dead race that that machine is possibly from. Mm -hmm. So maybe somebody found Chodak technology... Maybe. ...and repurchased it. Or, or maybe, maybe the Chodak never died. Well, the Chodak are like hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years old. And maybe there's one left, and he li he's like halfway through in a tree. He's like, I, he's am, the, I am the raven. He's yeah. got like a remote control. Yeah. Yeah. We've heard of the Chodak, but it's rare to find evidence of their presence in this section of the galaxy. Oh, yes. The Chodak Empire was vast indeed. Like the lawgiver before me, I have made extensive studies of their culture. I am actually considered something of an expert in the translation of Chodak runes. Well, you've been very helpful. Thank you. <laughs> well, I must return to my other duties now, but I will monitor your progress as my schedule permits. May the spirit of the lawgiver guide your steps. The lawgiver. La Whoa! Dude, he just T-posed out of there. <laughs> oh my god. He just T-posed oh and Oh my god. That was incredible. Dude, he just fucking T-posed out of there. He was Audi. <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye. Agents. <laughs> That was incredible. Okay, let's look around. We have this in the this background. This pyramid seems somehow out of place in this landscape. Hmm. I see. They're sure giving out a lot of smoke. <laughs> I'll just blow smoke up my ass. This pyramid seems somehow. Okay. So th we know that these now are. Now the egg is glowing. It must be turned on. <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows a few things about that. Yes, I know how to turn on an egg. Let oh, me I tell know. you. <laughs> Ridiculous. Okay, so, yeah, these are, like, whoa. Disintegrated. May the wisdom of the lawgiver ring the sweetly in your these? ears. I am Songmaster Stambler, leader of the Chanters. Chancellor Larak told me to expect you. How may I help you? Uh, well, first of all, why do you have Actually, can I just... flubber on, up on this... Deus. The plants push air through themselves like natural reed instruments. Oh. Something's missing inside the instrument. It can't be played. What's up with those rings up at Here? the top? No, 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 at the top? There's one missing. No unusual readings. No unusual read. Uh, look at that. Look at the hole. This hole doesn't have a ring around it. Interesting. That is something of importance, I think. Yeah, okay. How much you want to bet we have to get that I'm ring Commander back. Riker of the Federation Starship Enterprise. Uh, what is this place? What is this place? This is the practice hall of the Choir of Holy Intonations. Here we grow the pluvoids and perfect their chants. I have no idea what you just said. These pluvoids Pluvoid. seem to be some form of plant life. Do they actually understand what they're singing? Not really, but they have beautiful tonal quality. That is important for holy chants. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like a computer singing hymns. Yeah. Why do you call it's important. It sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our founder, Ifnik, oh believed Here the path go. to true enlightenment Deep lies are. in singing. We grow these pluvoids and train them to sing holy songs. By focusing so deeply on the eternal mysteries, we gain a clearer insight into the nature of religion and salvation. Does this guy have an egg on his head? I think they all do. More importantly, that's how they teleport. That's how yeah, they T-pose. Yeah, they t <laughs> Yeah. That's how they do it. I really want to know what song these guys are about. I hope the song they sing is something like Dude looks like a lady. Dude like, looks like But it's real. It like, sounds Ooh, really good. Looks like a lady. Yeah. It's written in the fifth scroll. I don't know. Yeah. Don't ask us. The lawgiver it's, wrote it's it. It's in there. 
You just said crazy long yeah, hair. It was yeah. weird. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lovely temple you have here. <laughs> nice place you got Lovely here. Lovely temple you have here. Be a shame if something were to happen Thank to you. it. Mambo we constructed number. this chamber to optimize its acoustic effects. Um, oh, your instrument seems to be broken. Your instrument seems to be broken. <laughs> I've had that problem before. Oh, we lost its sonic redigitizer to those oh, discordant seekers. Oh, the because of the. Uh, we're going to have to win all the shit back. Why is there one hole that doesn't have a gold ring around it? Oh, we lost that ring to those disc. Okay. Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? What is wrong with the copy our sect has? We need the original for historical research purposes. Oh, I see. I do not think I can help you. <laughs> our sect has lost so many so items bad. in the declaratory that I doubt we would be very good treasure hunters. But some of our chants go back for centuries, even to the days of the lawgiver. Would you like to hear yes. one? Yes. 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 Um, yes. That's a very generous offer. I would love to hear your blue What if they just sing. sing the Next Generation theme song? We are happy to oblige. This chant no, the original is called Star Trek theme song. The Futility oh. of Wisdom. Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. You know they're just like mashing that synth right now. It's a rightness, by the way. Oh. 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 I like how they sort of like jiggle. Like. It's like proto vaporwave. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh wow! Okay. Thank you for letting us hear that. It was very enlightening. Their ears bleed. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Since you enjoyed it so much, I shall give you an orchestrion that will let you listen to it whenever you wish. And feel free to visit us anytime. Did you just give us an iPod shuffle? Of the yeah, Lord but it Giver only plays that, that one song. song. Yeah, I've loaded it with it's one a, it's song. It's a hit clip. Yeah, it's like it's like a hit clip that only. Yeah, but right. it's the whole song. And it's uh, like a but instead of a tiny compact thing, it's a platter of plant that sings that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think so we, we got, have that. I think We're we good. Have to bounce. Let's try the other uh, pyramid. Shift. <laughs> what factor 10? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. I am Media, the Gynarch of the Questers for Inner Strength. Whoa! Chancellor Larak warned me about you. Warned Whoa, me. she is ready to go. I'm coming to like I found my position. <laughs> He's like under you, exactly where I should be. Uh. Lovely temple you have here. Thank you. It stimulates our contemplations. Oh, Riker, you've walked in uh -oh. on the best day of your life. Oh, yeah, he's ready to go. He is, yeah. He's like, unzip me, Data. <laughs> he just starts unzipping like 15 steps. Yeah. I don't know where to start, Commander. What is this place? This is the Grand Penatorium, <laughs> where my subjects meet to become more disciplined and more firm will. This, is, this couldn't. Riker is this like, couldn't. Riker's like, I'm not coming back to the Enterprise. <laughs> I found where I belong. Your regimen sounds quite difficult. Stop. Okay, Stop can it. we please? Stop I'm it. I'm begging you. Riker, come on, man. It is. Only the most dedicated can accomplish the regime. What about you? You would be a good candidate for discipline. If only I still had my I center can't. of light. I simply can't right now. Oh my god. Why do you call yourselves the quests for inner strength? Why do you call yourselves the questers for inner strength? Our founder, Plegu, believed that the outer body must suffer to make the inner soul stronger. Only by learning to deny the sensations of our outer bodies can we make our spirits free. Uh, Riker literally just 
re-zipped uh, everything and yeah, walked away. Yeah, he's, he's like, like nah, oh, he slaps mind. Data away and he just re-zips everything. Yeah, he's like, uh. Ooh, nah, no thank you. Nah, I'm good. Ooh, I'm good. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Don't care anymore. Yeah. Um, Why don't you still have your scepter of light? Those horrendous Seekers took it from me during the last declaratory. So the Seekers have a bunch of stuff. anything for it. We are planning revenge next time. Whoa. Wow. Why do you have a force field inside your temple? There is a Chodak transporter pad behind it that the Lawgiver frequently used during the last years of his life. We want to preserve it from prying eyes. Mm. Maybe the original fifth scroll is back there. May we investigate it? I have no desire to share my temple's treasures with aliens. What about with lovers? Well, perhaps we can get to know. Can you help us about find it? the original fifth scroll? My people have always looked inside themselves for their strength. We have never cared for external things to aid our spiritual quest. Yeah, well, maybe Thank you for I your can... time. <laughs> maybe maybe I can be inside you for a little extra strength. Whoa! Woo! Ouch. Okay, so there's nothing here. Uh, yeah, wow. Well, I can't even look. Oh, she vanished, I guess. Or oh. she... Uh, okay. We can't pass through this barrier. Uh-huh. Is there anything else to... I've known some women like her before. Whoa, Riker! <laughs> oh, I changed my mind. Oh, I like the right, card. He's great. Riker's the best. Yeah, Riker's, Riker's the, best. the best. Riker's the best. Riker wins. <laughs> All right. Just for that one line. Somebody tweeted Jonathan Frakes. Yeah, someone let Jonathan Frakes know we, we love, love Jonathan Frakes. We love you. Uh, is there anywhere else to go? Walk to desert. Oh, there's another transporter. What the hell? What is that pod? You know what? Let's do this. Yeah, good That's idea. Pretty sturdy plan. Okay. No, no! I don't think that's the... <laughs> I don't think that's the... Try, try picking it up. This isn't an exploratory mission. There'll be plenty... Ugh, fine. Um, should we go through the... Pick pod. This isn't... An... All right, walk to Pyramid, I guess. Bro? So are these the seekers? Whoa! May the lawgiver spirit grant you wisdom. I yeah, am these are Arch the seekers. Rishan Nacho, chief assistant to his exalted prominence, Elant of the Seekers. Chancellor Larak told me to expect you. Okay. These guys How look may at I this. Be of wow. Service. This is like a fucking. Tool album. It's like a Geiger thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. I guess we're talking. Hey, what's up? I'm Riker. You I'm Commander Riker of, of the here? Federation Starship Enterprise. Uh, lovely temple. Lovely temple you have here. Thank you. It pleases us. Okay. What is this place? It has many names. It is usually called the Hall of Triumph, but recently, some have called it the Path of No Return. Hmm. When did this start being called the Path of No when Return? When did this start being called the Path of No Return? More than a month ago, <laughs> our leader, Elant, vanished through the Door of Enlightenment. He has not returned. What? What is this door of enlightenment you mentioned? At the end of this path is a door no one has ever opened. No one before Elant, that is. For a thousand years, no a one thought to go through years, there? Nobody went Why through hasn't it? anyone opened this door before? There is a gatekeeper who jealously guards the oh doorway. Oh my god. Riddles. He asks a series of questions Riddles. when oh, anyone riddle tries to pass it. And if the person does not answer all the questions appropriately, the gatekeeper will not let him pass. Hmm. Oh boy, okay. Why? I want to know why they're called the Seekers. What? Hold on, let's find out about this gatekeeper. Okay, what's he like? What is the gatekeeper like? It is a very advanced device with strange, almost telepathic power. Okay, the Chodak are Some appearing more and more. Some say it is hold yeah. over Chodak technology. 
And others say the lawgiver had something to do with Should it. Should we send Troy in there to do it? Like, hmm. telepathically talk to it? Maybe. Uh... Why is your group called the Seekers? Our founder, Baranam, believed that the path to enlightenment lies in searching for the truth. We are humble in our ignorance. Only the truth will free our souls. Free our souls? Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? I can let you see the true copy made by Baranam. Uh, this one, this is the right one. We're doing this for historical research. I'm sure you understand that no matter how good your copy yeah, is, damn right, Riker. Yeah, we need to check diplomatic the response. For authenticity. I am afraid I cannot help you. The original. Yeah, we know. Okay. Yeah, okay. Isn't it possible that the original fifth scroll might be hidden on the other side of the door of enlightenment? I suppose so, but why should we risk our safety when we have the true copy of the scroll anyway? Thank you for your time. What is this anus over here? Uh, you should look at it. I definitely will. This oh, is probably fault. the safe. Ah. Could we walk over to the door? Oh, we could. Walk we should save door. before we do that. This plaque certainly doesn't look very friendly. Well, look, nothing around this thing looks friendly. Yeah, we should save here. Save. Riker gets ass. It looks like a solid piece of masonry. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> that ass looks like a solid piece, piece of, of masonry. masonry. Let's... Use, use door? Yeah, let's It didn't work. Them. Oh, well, you didn't even Walk try, Riker. Door. Uh-oh. Terrifying. Is that the gatekeeper? That's the gatekeeper. Oh, my God. Hello, gatekeeper. Oh! Come no closer. I am the gatekeeper of the door of enlightenment. Oh boy, you we must got some answer questions my questions coming up here. appropriately to determine whether you are wise enough to proceed. What? Those who answer inappropriately will be punished if they attempt to pass. Ask me your questions. Oh wow, okay. Damn. Define your prime directive. Um Interpret it depends on the circumstances. Prime is the foundation of Federation policy. Prime directive prohibits us from interfering with development of our species. I, I, they're not, he's not talking about prime directive of Starfleet. It's got to be the first one. It doesn't have a single definition. It's an interpretation depends on the circumstances. Sure. The prime directive doesn't have a single definition. That's a very Riker answer, too. Yeah. Interpretation depends on the circumstances. You understand that truth depends on context. Oh, so is everything going to be about truth? And, yeah. And finding truth yeah. and knowing you, you know nothing? To pass through the door of enlightenment. Mm, to be enlightened, to find the reason of... I uh, don't know what's beyond. I don't know what's beyond it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what's Because they're beyond. seekers, remember? Right. Then you do not know what you are seeking. Ah, shit! What? How does a person reach enlightenment? What do you mean? I was... Uh, so by learning um, as much as he can, I don't know. Through deep meditation, by following examples of someone else who is enlightened? No, I think it's... By learning as much as he can, right? Uh, I don't know. I Trust me. Trust me. I don't know. Trust me. But because that's what the guy said earlier. I feel like that's true, but after the last answer, I feel like but, I don't know what they want yeah. anymore. No, no, no. Try it. I don't know. You are saying you have no knowledge of that which cannot be known. What? Who are you? You're saying you have no knowledge of that which cannot be known. Uh, a citizen of the Everyone plays many roles in life. It's impossible to play Yeah, F this guy. Yeah. Everyone plays so many roles in life. It is impossible to label them. You understand the fundamental paradox of existence. To know that you know nothing is the beginning of enlightenment. Your sure. answers prove sure. that right. you are ready to admit this. Yeah. You may pass through the door. Hell yeah. <laughs> Riker's like, now, the, an the question is, can I fuck it? <laughs> are you single? Are you single? Excuse me, Wall. Are no? you single? Okay. Silent treatment. Cold shoulder. And... <laughs> Yo, what Whoa. the hell? You know what this is? That Simpsons episode. It's like, I bring peace. <laughs> I bring you love. 
It's yeah. bringing us love. Don't let it get away. <laughs> Break its legs. <laughs> All right, let's look around here. Okay, what do we got? It's, it's some kind of sign, but I don't know what Tricorder? language it's in. Sign language, obviously. Oh, right. Is this it for here? The doorway. There's this guy. Somebody's trapped in there. Ooh, my Shoot goodness. him. Can we talk to him? I don't think that's such a good idea. Fuck you too, um, Riker. Maybe we. I. <laughs> why did I do that? God damn it! Why did I do that? How do I stop this? Why have I done this? What is the why? Why would I? Don't you? Don't move like that. Stop shaking. Stop wiggling. Octo, stop it. No. 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 Why? Why? Oh, come on. This is. <laughs> This is so dumb. May as well enjoy it. <laughs> it's gonna happen for like another ten seconds. Oh, never mind. It's over. Okay, so let me touch. It didn't work. Tri uh, tricorder. The tricorder can't read it. Huh. This is a stasis field with a living being trapped inside. Uh. Okay. Um. Data, come here. Good idea, actually. I never thought of that. Interesting. This is written in a language with which I am unfamiliar. Given the premise that the Chodak once inhabited this world, it is possible that this could be oh. a sample of Chodak writing. Um, we should talk to Larak. Maybe because he said he's an expert on Chodak runes, remember? Ah, oh, that's true. So do we have to go back to the main area? Uh, oh, look at the panel. It's reasonable to assume that these controls will operate Jordy? the state. Get Jordy to, to try it. Use the panel, Jordy. It's too dangerous to play around with controls we don't understand. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go back to Troy, and she's gonna get us out of here. Okay. Because we, we can probably just walk just, back in. Do right? we have a free pass? I think we just have a free pass. I think so. Okay. So the doors open. Yeah. Let's go to back to where we started and see Blue. if the rock is there. He there is. There he is. Awesome. Okay. Riker. Riker, you're in charge. May the spirit of the law give yeah, us okay. strength. Yeah, yeah. We found Alont, but he was trapped inside some sort of stasis field. Have you ever encountered anything like that? Thank the lawgiver you found him. I was worried about my old friend. No, I have not heard of such a field, but it is probably Chodak in origin. We still find many Chodak devices here, the Chodak are becoming and they a are often operational point. even after all these years. Can you help us free Alont? Without knowing how to operate the device, I have no way to assist you. There was a control panel with a sign near it. We couldn't translate the writing. The lawgiver made a great study of the ruins and developed a Chodak Garidian translator. I will upload it into your tricorder. Hmm. Perhaps it will help you save Alant. There we go. Okay. Thank you very much. This may be an enormous help. Alant is my friend. I do hope you can free him, but if you will please excuse me now, I have a planet to govern. I've got to go back to being planet president. Yeah, peace out. I gotta go be a I wish when I left a room or a conversation, I'd be like, hey, all right, catch you later. It's incredible. I love it. They predicted T-posing. Uh-oh. 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 What the hell? That was something I wasn't expecting. Dude, um, that, that thing just nutted everywhere. What is that? The young plants look like they're doing okay. Uh, tricorn? Uh, uh, resume. They're doing just fine. Maybe grab one? This isn't an yeah. explorer. Maybe that was just a thing. We did not bring along the prop. Weird? Yeah. Okay, well, maybe it's just for flavor. Yeah, like flavor seed eruptions? Mm -hmm. I guess that could happen. You know what also is weird? Like, because Riker answered the door to enlightenment questions, like, does everybody just get a free pass? I guess so. I oh. guess only one person had to be smart. Yeah, okay. All right, um, Data, let's do this. These instructions explain how to operate the control panel. It will not be hard to deactivate the stasis field now. Okay, Great. so let's... 
These controls are still in up. Let's use them. Data. Go, data. Take it. Whoa. Oh. We found By the Lawgiver's wisdom. What is happening here? This guy looks like he came out of King's Quest. I don't know what he's doing here. Yeah, he really does. This looks like a like a dark wizard Mordak. Oh. Um, kind of character. Let's talk to him. What's up? What's up? I'm Riker. I'm Commander William Riker of the Starship Enterprise, representing the United Federation of Planets. We're visiting Phrygis by permission of Chancellor Larock. I presume you are Aelant, exalted prominence of the Seekers. Mm -hmm. I am indeed. This is all most peculiar, but according to my studies, the lawgiver expected us to have off-world visitors this year. I should not be so surprised. He's just Nostradamusing this whole thing? Yeah. Are, are you okay? Are you feeling all right? Thank you for your concern. I am feeling a little dizzy, but I think it will pass. All right. How did you? Okay. How could the lawgiver foretell our coming in this particular year? He was a prophet. Prophets are supposed to foretell things. <laughs> he just did. Yeah, I mean, all right. Duh. Man makes a valid point. Yeah, he's right. Can you help us find the original fifth scroll? I wish I could. I came here looking for it. Why are you strangers so interested in it? There's a civil war brewing on Garrett. Having the original scroll may help some Garridian friends of ours prevent it. I don't know. That one woman seems very keen very on a revolution. Keen on just doing like that bloody like French Revolution goal. style stuff. Even though we have been exiles here for many generations, we still care about our home world. May the lawgiver's wisdom help bring peace to Garrett. What, what is this place? Is this place it looks like a, a cover of a '80s album. It does. I, I actually listen to this know album. myself. I only came through that door a few minutes ago, and I've not had much chance to look around. I suspect this is a room built by the Chodak, the original inhabitants of this world. Their ruins are all around us. I know it seems like you were here only a few minutes, but it was much longer. You've been trapped in a stasis field. Time actually stopped for you. I see. It was a rather disorienting experience. Do you remember what happened? When I entered the room, I saw a pair of talismans sitting on that rock. I climbed down to get them, but mm. as soon as I touched them, alarms sounded and I just lost consciousness. Mm. Then you were here when I awoke. You've been in stasis over a month from what your assistant Natural told us. Natural? That devious drum effects is probably plotting some way to take over my position. <gasps> I must return I mean, to the devil as heard quickly talk, as possible. You yeah, he, he was definitely a snake thank you person. For rescuing me from that stasis field. Give us those those things you found. Thank you for your generosity, but a reward what? isn't necessary. Shut up, right? Talismans. The customs of my sect compel me to show my gratitude. Talismans. Here are the talismans Yo! I picked up as yeah. well as the key to our vault, which holds the trophies we have won in the declaratory over the years. You may take up to three items. To we need exactly three mission. items. Yeah, we do. Thank you. We'll try to use your gifts. We'll what? try Please to use your gifts me. wisely. The effects of the stasis field have worn me out. Here he I goes. I'll rest here a while and then return to my temple. Yo. Oh, oh I thought he was gonna do it. No. I was so ready. I was so Only the ready one for dude T poses. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, so let's open up that. Yes, vault. let's open up the vault, eh? Okay, so what we need is a scepter, a ring, and some kind of Okay. All right. So we have stasis jar, no. staff, device, golden, golden ring. ring. We don't. We need that. We definitely do. Get staff, st statuette, stasis jar. All right. Hold on. It's basically just a pole with some fancy work on the end. It's basically just a. It looks like a pretty ordinary stasis. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a what plug? Hmm. I wonder what this is used for. Um, we scan. Yeah. It's a piece of electronic gear, but I'm not. The jar is empty. Okay, jar does nothing. No unusual reading. No unusual read. No unusual read. Oh well, one of these God. is the light staff, right? I would assume it's the staff with the ball. This of thing light is operating there. at a phase variance of 5,000 kilohertz. Ooh. Wait, what is? The talisman. Oh. This thing is operating at a phase variance of 3,000. So blue is 3,000, white is 5,000. Okay, let's go. It's probably the statuette. Can we put something back? 
We can. Yeah, okay. If we screw up. Okay. okay. Um, the statuette looks like one of the Blobberts. Yeah, which I think is the hint. But maybe and that's this is probably hint. the light staff, she yeah, said? Yeah. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa. What? It didn't work. Good yeah, stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Cool. All right. Let's peace out. Bye, haters. I said pff, use exit. Okay. Can we open that again? I hope that didn't seal off up. permanently. <laughs> We open it again. We'll find out. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's give them the device. You returned the missing ring. Oh, here we go. In your honor, we shall sing our loveliest chant. Watch your step. What? Thank you for letting us hear that. That was, <laughs> what, that was it? It was very enlightening. That's like the Windows uh, startup jingle. Everybody watch your step. Fucking step. <laughs> Since you enjoyed it so much, here is an orchestrion of it that you can play whenever you want. Great. Uh, can I do that right now? Yeah, we can. Ridiculous song. Okay, give him give him the statuette. Mm hmm You are very generous. What? Ah shit. I can't use Okay. Never mind. That was wrong. That was wrong. So try Alright, let's really quickly see if we can return it. Yeah. That teleporting animation needs to speed the fuck up. Praise the lawgiver who has decreed that we should meet again. Uh, it didn't work. Wait, talk to him. Uh, um, yeah. Would it be p very well? But my people would be greatly displeased if I. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, dude. We love you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's that's all we need. Alright, so that goes back, and then we'll take this. No, 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 not the device. We'll take this device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling that. Her it's light that staff one. is this one? Because it's. Elon said we could. Yeah, because it, that's Elon like an evil we could take staff. And yeah. They look, pretty, they look pretty fucking evil. But maybe that's like a trick. Maybe she she's looks evil, but really she has a heart of gold. Uh, her? Look, don't don't judge her just because she. Uh, uh, oh, um. I'm surprised how fast these things are. This is bad news. This feels this. I don't. I can't tell if this is just like a red herring or. Yeah, this feels dangerous. Yeah. But okay. Well, let's let's uh go back. Let's go here. Get the device. Oh, 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 oh. This might work in our instrument. Oh my god, Jordy? I don't have the technical background to him. Jordy, do it, my man! I think this will fix it. You repaired our instrument. In your honor, I Here we shall go, ready? play the lawgiver's Here we song, go. <laughs> Traveling Music. Here we traveling go. Traveling Music, please. Oh boy, okay, well he's gotta walk He's traveling, no, 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 just feel it in your bones. Mm -hmm. it's, it's coming. It's coming. Here we go. Here we go. And. That's it. Oh, thanks that for it? letting us hear that. It was very enlightening. He doesn't very go on many travels. Since you enjoyed it so much. Uh, thank oh, you. Boy. Cool. Thank you so much for that. Yeah. All right. Peace out. Let's get out of here, Jordy. Run. Run. Run fast. Okay, talk to, uh... Actually, before we do that, let's switch to Riker. Yeah, Riker needs to get in there. Riker needs to get in there. Yeah. Whoa. There she is. There she is. Whoa! Give her the staff. Heh, <laughs> not that one. <laughs> what would I do with that? Oh, told you! Never mind. I'm told dumb. you! I told you it was, right. it was she wanted the light staff. Yeah, yeah. 
You overthought it. I did overthink it. I thought it was a trick. It wasn't. She was honest and beautiful and wonderful. Yeah, she was. I mean, she was. Riker would have known that. She was forthcoming with us. Riker would have known. It's true. He would have. Excuse me. We need to get back in there. I'd like to. Ex Very well. That ain't. Oh, 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 oh. And it didn't would, work. Uh, this would have happened if they had just brought Barclay. Barclay? Who knows what he's up to on the ship? Yeah. Oh, 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 he's practicing. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, okay, take yeah, that. Goes there. Right How much you want to bet this is actually the... Yeah, that's the Staff of Light. Yeah, the Staff of Light is actually just the butt plug. She knows what's up. Alright. Oh, 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 I bet there's going to be a puzzle behind the fucking door. Probably. Okay, let's talk to... Or let's go back to... What's her name? She's like, ah, people keep showing up in front of my temple. Oh, here you go. My scepter of light. Oh, thank you. Whoa. I have been missing this for ages. Oh, what favor can I do for you in return? No, Riker, we need to open the door. Open the door, Riker, not that door. Uh, What's behind this force field? Yeah. What's behind this force field? An ancient Shodak transporter pad. Will you lower the force field? Mm, yes. <laughs> I will do that yes. for you. Yes. But I do not think it will be much help since we have never figured out how the lawgiver's transporter works. You don't have a data, ma'am. You don't have a data and you don't have these mystical talismans. You don't have a data. Okay. Well, actually, maybe we use Jordy's visor. This has got to be the transporter pad's controls. Can we use them? It didn't work. Hmm. Scan them, maybe? These controls have a sonic lock. If we play the right musical combination, we can unlock them. Traveling music? Oh, I like that. Okay, so maybe... Uh, it's... This melody doesn't work. Oh, maybe try... Hold on. Try the, the other one, because we have a couple of them. I was trying to see if it, if we... I can't make it work. Try, try, try the one with two on there. Whoa. There it is. Oh my god. Oh. oh my god. Go, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Um. Riker, I'm gonna have you. Actually, Sorry. Data, you're gonna figure this one out. Yeah, Data. Okay. If he can't get it, he's gonna fall to his death. Oh no. Uh, oh no, he. it's like that's the end. Okay, so. Yeah. So maybe look. While it has a different appearance, it is similar in function to the kind Stambler gave us. Maybe, Diana. It's like the kind. Okay. It's like the kind. Okay. It's like the. Hmm. Okay, so we're. It works just like a small personal. Rec okay, maybe we do. Play. Play a play a song. That's not working. Play one. That's of the not working. Because this one has all of them. It's also very long, so maybe it's what makes all these activate. It could There's be. no way they're going to have us play this. This is what's happening right now. This is where we're at. This is an eight and a half minute song. Oh. Just to unlock the first part of a puzzle. Yeah. Nope, that did nothing. Try, try the smaller one. Try, try the one with four. That's the traveling, right? Yeah. Maybe you could uh -huh. let us go right now. Okay, then what if we do the two? I 
I can't use this with that. Oh, uh, try. Whoa! Did it just teleport us back? Yeah. Son of an ass. Okay. You know what? Maybe we have to use the frequency things on them as well. Okay. Well, here, here I have a thought. I have a thought. Mm -hmm. So use the use the four, right? Okay. Also, read that plaque that's over on the right. Read the plaque on the right? Yeah. <laughs> Play Wonderwall. No, it's uh, not happening. Read, there's like a plaque there. Touchpad. From what I've seen of Chodak technology here, they didn't use push buttons like this. Try using it. It's like a... It didn't work. Oh, it like didn't it. work. Okay, so... This looks a lot like the control device in... Try using the, the orchestrion that we just unlocked. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Grab it. I'll give Troy some time to do something. She hasn't done much this mission. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, and now try using it? Yeah. Oh, Whoa, shit. Whoa, she's dead. She died. Oh. What? Um... Is she okay? Um, uh, uh, did we? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like uh, how your I like how your. Uh, um, I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one time I send her to do something, she dies. Oh, she's okay. Oh, she's, she's good. okay, folks. Oh she's my, okay. she's fine. Okay. Oh, oh, look at her life. She's messed up, but she's fine. She's fine. Oh my god. All right, okay. Jonathan save. breaks. Save before we do anything else. No, I don't want to save that. Cause oh my god. Save it in a different slot. No, that was terrifying. All right, we'll use this. Actually, we used that already, didn't we? Yeah. So that does that. Okay. So use the. So use the four. Oh, I know so, exactly. Yeah. So we're gonna have to go up to that one. right here. Yeah, and then use and then use the three. Right. Okay. Uh, Jonathan Frakes, I'm gonna need you to go. No, don't walk to Troy. <sighs> Troy, walk over here. Uh, send Jordy. Jordy, walk over okay, here. Okay. I'm not gonna send Jordy. I need him to get us out of here. Riker exists only to bang people, so he's fine. And then we use the three, right? Yeah, use the three. Okay, now go nice, grab the nice. one. Nice, And then we come over here and we grab this. Um, but. Now, just to be safe, go back and to use here? the four. Because now, let's go... Go back and use the four? Yeah, trust me. Because we have to figure out what the one does. Okay. Now you're dead. Now, get off the platform. Mm-hmm. And then use the one. Sure. What the? Okay. So it's that one, one, or it's this one, right? Wait, wait, wait. Yes, but use the four also. Mm -hmm. we, okay. We can trim so, this real quick. Yeah. This is not gonna be an issue. Yeah. Let's we'll do this. And then we'll do this. We'll do this. And then we'll the go. The puzzle of the vanishing floor seems to be a problem in applied geometry. Yeah, okay, Data. Okay. You big then goober. Then walk there. Here, and, the and then... One. Yep. And then go up... To what? To the very end. That that one. To here? To there. Okay. And then use the four. I think it... Wasn't it the four? Um, we'll find out real quick. Yeah, it was the four, I think. Hopefully you won't die. Oh, okay, oh now grab the God. three. Okay. And now go back. Now we have to backtrack all the way. Okay. So now it's four. Mm-hmm. And then we can use... Uh, now use the, the one. Yeah. Yeah, use the one. Okay, now go all the way down. And then use the three, or was it the four? 
shit. I don't remember now. I think it's the... Th the... It's the four. It's the four. No, it isn't. I'm stupid. No, Riker! You killed Commander Riker! Yeah. You monster. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at his fucking death drop. He's down. That's fine. Well, let's see what this does. Yeah, that's fine. We figured it anyway. Okay. Uh. Mm, so we should go here. Yeah. So when this comes, we go there. Yeah. Okay. Riker, get up. Fine. We'll just get... We'll send data. We'll send data. Okay. Data will figure it out. <laughs> let, let Riker, uh... <laughs> let Riker fucking chill for a bit. Yeah, he's tired. Okay, so it's up there. And then... It the, was three, right? I believe it's the th three. Yep. And then you walk over... And then we go to here? No. Here. I don't remember. No, no, no. One over. It's, it's the middle one. That one, yeah. Okay. And then you use the one. Uh -huh. And then you go all the way up uh -huh. to the middle and use the two. No, we literally just go here. Oh, really? Yep. Okay. This one right... Here. And then use the two? Yeah. What? Nope. Nope. What? Nope. 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 It was one more up. Data is just sleeping. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. All right. Last person. Jordy. Jordy. I believe in the dream. We should save in a separate file. Nope. Really? No saving. We're going to go back a ways. No if saving. If we die here. We will not die here. Everyone's fine. The crew, this is what's happening. This is what's happening to them. They're in this together. This is just their lives. This is real time. Yeah, okay. this is All right. band of brothers shit right now. Uh, the three. When you change tile. You know what? We Yeah, we get it now. The middle one. The, the one. What the? Oh, he's trying to walk to Data. He's trying to walk to certain characters. Oh, by the way. Data, you big goober. Okay, then we use this one? Yeah, uh, yes. And then up to. You're right. Look, you're right. When you're right, you're right. And then we grab that one. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, go down to the middle, because we got it. We got to send him back. Uh, and use the, use the F one. It. Nope. Oh my God, you're killing me. <laughs> okay, go go down one. Mm-hmm. And use. Where are we supposed to go? What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to look at that that hole in the wall. It looks like the jewel. Oh. It's a large oval niche in the door. Yeah. Do we put the stuff? Do we put the, the gems there? Yeah. Okay, but like... But there's only one. How do we know which one to use? Yeah, which one do we use? Which talisman is the one we use? Wait. Uh, Use the tricorder on the niche. Okay. The niche has a phase variance Aha! of 3,000 kilohertz. 3,000. Which one had 3,000? The tricorder says... That one. Okay. So it's the blue one. Mm-hmm. So uh, it didn't work. Use the okay, use the We have to figure out a route there. So let's send Jordy back so we can be safe and then plan our route. So it's Look, we gotta get him back. Is this teleport us out? Yeah, okay, good call. Actually that's a very good call. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we gotta go back in. Okay, so now let's figure out how we can get all the way back there. I don't... Okay, so start with... We, we have to start with the four. I do not believe that. We have to start with the four? Yeah, I think so. Sure. I'm fair. Well, I'll try something else. I guess. Um, it starts with that. Mm-hmm. Well, don't send him out yet. Plan our plan our route first. Okay. 
That way we, we know how to sure. get there. And we should use Jordy because otherwise somebody's gonna die. Then that. Then I think one. That might be it. It seems like that's the one that takes us there, but yeah. like, I don't know. Well, give it a shot. This is how you start. All right, Jordy. Go up there. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's you're trying to walk through data. I don't want to walk God through damn data. It. The, it's the chunky UI. They're just friends. They're friends. They're friends. I mean, they're our best friends. Yeah. And then it's the three. And then over to the, here. The middle one. Yes, that's right. Okay. Whoa, whoa. There we go. And then the one. Or wait. Is yeah. It the one? It's the one. Yeah. And you can go straight up, right? And, yeah, and then go straight up and put the blue gem in the niche. Mm hmm. It didn't work. What? what do you mean? No, 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 no. Hold on. It didn't. Wait, try. It didn't work. What? Um. <laughs> Why did I press that? Why did I press that? I didn't want to press that. That's not. <laughs> Oh, what a terrible mistake! No, I have mistake. to do this. Maybe we're not close enough. Says. Try, try getting closer to the. Sometimes that is a stupid, shitty thing. Okay, put that. Put it away. Put it away. All right, all right, all right. Cheese and crackers, man. And it's so got. What about the last one? This one guy try right it. here. Try it. We don't. We don't no. That just put two right there. What the? That didn't do shit. Now we can't. We can't make a mistake again, or one of our crew members will die. They're gonna die. I mean, they might. They won't die. This looks like the same kind of sonic lock that... Sure. The touchpad is newer than the rest of the room. I suspect the Garidians added it on. Well, why can't we use it? Well, that's a good question. Why can't we use it? F this shit, Troy. I don't feel... What? I don't feel... I don't... If Worf was here... Yeah, Worf would... He'd be cool with Blow it. that shit up. Yeah. Door? Use door? But I need to get to it first. Yeah. It doesn't appear like anything actually gets that far. Right? They all... They all stop right there. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hit him with the... Okay. Hit... Hit me with the... Hit me with the one. This guy? That one. Now hit me with the two. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Okay, hit me with the hit me with the two. That that is okay. That is farther than there's another Z level that I wasn't seeing. Okay. I thought that was close, but there's another Z level. So we have to get back to those two. I see. Okay, so that's one. The uncovered one. Okay, so hit me with the three. Okay, this is tough. Okay, so do four real quick. So four gets us to here. Yeah. Four gets us to there. Three. Three moves us over to the right. Moves us to here. Yeah. One. We do the one. We can get up there. We can get up to there. And then... Hit, and if, me, hit me with the two. If you do the two, that disappears. Yeah. Uh, hit me with the with the uncovered. Well, one. let's go to the one really quick. Yeah. If we go there, mm -hmm. here. Yeah. That's still we there. Can get back no. to the upper corner. <sighs> yeah. Okay. That's it. Try try the try the uncovered one real. And get up to the upper corner. Yeah. And then. No, the upper corner fucks us. But 
No. What about four? That's a, yeah, upper corner, maybe? No. No. Uh, but, maybe, maybe what if going... we go here? Okay. So Because we have to start with four. That's non-negotiable. Right. That's there still. Yeah, okay. And then, what if we do... No. Do the do the two? Hmm. What was this one? So that's there. Uh, so if hit, we hit do... Me with, hit me with three, real quick. The puzzle of the vanishing floor yeah, we get it, seems to be a problem in a... So if we had this is butts. Alright. Puzzle solving. So if we went here. Mm -hmm. There's gotta be something that just connects straight up like if we went to here. Mm -hmm. So we went, wah, 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 did this, and then did two. We'd still be good, right? Um, but I don't know if that solves anything. Okay. So we can't move anywhere, because we're cut off here. We can move there. Mm -hmm. We can that's move there. Up. But where do we go from there? Try the three? Nope. No. Uh, one. Nope. No. Nope. I can't use this. Oh, Diana, stop. We can go there. It'll be right there still, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so that's there. We need to get from there to I feel up like there. it would weave us around here to this way. Yeah, I can't remember how we got up to the fourth one. Okay, hang on. Let me let me try and order. Okay. 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 F we're starting with four. Mm -hmm. Now do three. Okay. Now do um one. This one? No, no, no. Uh, covered. This okay. like takes us back. Yeah. We've done now that before. Now do uh two. That takes us to there. Yeah. I don't remember how we got to the back corner, though. I don't think... Have we ever... We had to get one of the orchestrons from there. But... I mean... We've never had a, a thing right in front of it. If you look... That's as close as we that's got. That's as close as you but get, but that's, that's not that's not how we get to it. Yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Like there is no we can just get to it that way. Yeah. Um Look, I'm going to I'm testing you, chat. I want to see if this is right. 414 I mean, that's how you would get to that corner, and then you the could puzzle four. of the vanish. And then four, hold on, three, one, four. You could do that. Oh shit! Save. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Chat, don't screw me now. Don't screw that's me not working. now. Yeah, it's okay. Not working. So, uh, four. One. I don't see how that's. Did anything help? Four, three, one, four? Three, and then one. And then four? Where would we go? I think we're supposed to be oh, back there. We are. Yup, yup, and then we go there, and then I think we do this. One, That's yeah, there. and then two. Yup. Okay, that's it. That's it. Okay. 
four. Don't mock us. Okay, we're okay. going up to the corner. Uh, Are we I'm not Troy sending Troy. No. no I, I believe. No, this is a Riker job? This is a Riker job. Riker got us here. Uh, Riker's saving the day. He, no, 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 no. It's it's the corner. It's to one to the right. What do you mean? Down and then to the right, isn't it? What? Am I crazy? Here? No, down and then to the right one. Here? And to the right, yeah. No, right I thought it was supposed to be up here. No, no, no. I don't. Well, I, maybe I'm wrong. 4 3. Right? No, I think it's down and to the right. Look. Look. If I'm wrong, I'll eat my shoe. I don't know what right is right now, so. Okay, here. Yeah. Four, three. Three. Okay, then one to the right. One. Mm -hmm. The cover. Up all the way. All the way over to here. Yeah. And then four. And then to the right. Mm -hmm. And then uncovered. One. Okay. Up. And then two. Boom! Alright, there it is. And put that motherfucking blue gem in there. If this is like, I can't do that. If it's the wrong one and it blows up, I'm gonna laugh. It's the blue gem, it has to it be. It has to be the blue gem. Oh, oh! There we go. What did we get? Is this the fifth scroll? Maybe. Maybe. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> oh! <gasps> High fives all around. Fifth scroll. We did it. We fucking did it, y'all. Actually, let me look. It's almost like it's a drawing. There's gas flowing through this pipe. The pipe carries some. <laughs> Wasn't some what I was looking for, buddy. Gas. No, fuck! No! No! <laughs> That's not what I wanted. Octo's leaving. Octo's left. Octo got up and left. Octo got up and left. He's he's gone. <laughs> nope, he's gone. He's left. He's nope. He's gone both emotionally and spiritually. <laughs> God. It's still going. Yeah. It doesn't end. Okay. Um. All right. This is what I wanted. Grab the fifth scroll. The mixture in the pipe contains mostly inert gases. Okay. okay. So it's not going to mess with us. The ink and parchment are the right age for this to be the original fifth scroll. It's the original fifth scroll. Data, the only one I trust to be able to handle it carefully. Yeah, I agree. It would appear that this might indeed be the original manuscript of the... Okay. Go grab it. Uh-oh. In many cultures, flashing lights represent danger. <laughs> While that need not be the case here, I believe it would be prudent to leave and take <laughs> the scroll back to the ship for authentication. I believe it's time to get the fuck out. Beam us up. <laughs> Bye! Bye! Bye, bitch! <laughs> Their world self-destructs. <laughs> Captain's log supplemental. There we, we go. We have successfully retrieved the Garidian's fifth scroll, and Tabak has verified the manuscript's authenticity. Lucana assures me the mere existence of this scroll may radically alter. What if the you brought it back to Garrett Garidian and they were society. like, "This ain't real." Yeah. They just throw it out. I am glad you found the original scroll, Captain. I hope it will do some good on Garrett. Keeping it here would only upset the delicate balance between the sects. Yeah, we'll just keep it between us. Nothing could possibly go wrong with keeping a political secret like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Thank you for your generosity. Would you be willing to let the Federation send an archaeological research team to Phrygis? Your world has the finest collection of Chodak ruins in known space. And people, I guess. Yeah. I, Would it. we be permitted to share in any Chodak secrets they uncover? Of course, the Federation believes in freely distributing scientific knowledge. In fact, we would be honored if your scientists would join our efforts. Then we agree, Captain. Send us your archaeologists. Yeah, I'll stop. He like, puts on a pith helmet. A Garidian warbird is uncloaking. Oh, no. Being hailed. On screen. 
Captain Pentara, what? I thought... I escaped in a life pod. Most of my crew perished. I've sworn to avenge them with your death. Oh my god. Why do they give you such a terrifying face Oh, mask? that's just awful. That's, that's just, just terrible. Whatever happened to that side of your face is not nearly as bad as this mask. That's just horrendous. Ma'am. I just, can we get your kid on the line? no business here, Captain Pentara. We are in Federation space and this world has asked for our protection. I intend to give it to them. This is no longer a matter of a little scout ship, Captain. A subspace message was sent from your ship to the Gridian Rebels. What? A full-scale revolution has erupted on What? Garrett. That's not our fault! That's uh -oh. that crazy lady! Uh -oh. We sent no messages. I suspect it was that revolutionary Lucana. She delights in stirring up trouble. Delights. Surrender her. End her companions at once, or face the consequences. They are loading their torpedo tubes. Whoa, shields, shields up. up! Captain Pentara, anyone who has been sending unauthorized subspace messages from my ship will be dealt with severely. Uh -oh. I do not tolerate that sort of behavior. Damn right. Yeah. You may have a few minutes to investigate, but I'm still not leaving without those people. Mr. Wolf, get me Lucana on the comm. What do you want, Captain? Uh, what, what do you, do, do, you want? Are you responsible for a subspace message being sent to Garrett? Yes, I brought a subspace microtransceiver what? with me. Oh my god. Now that we have the Shut up, lady! Airlocker. Just Stick her in a torpedo <laughs> tube, shoot her out. Jettison. Get her out of here. You are playing games with thousands of lives and risking an interstellar incident. Freedom for my people is worth any price. Captain. You need to Lucana, take this has gone far enough. If I get my mother to intercede with the ruling council. Will you come back to Garrett and stop the revolution? Your mother is as reactionary as the council. She is a woman of honor. She would keep her word even to you, someone she hates. Oof. If she can get the council to listen, it might be worth the gamble. Sure, yeah, just get off my ship. Yeah, get the Captain, fuck out of here. Captain, can you patch me through to my mother's ship? Oh boy, here we go. Make it so, Mr. Wolf. Mother, there is no need to fight. We have Mother, is that- Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh, uh, sorry, there's nothing You're wrong- You're no longer my mother! There's nothing wrong with your face, sorry. Oh I, yeah, I everything's just, fine, Mother. Yeah. The fifth scroll is a myth. No, I've seen it and Tabak has verified it. This will change our world forever. Do you realize what this means? The ruling council has not been truthful with us for generations. The people will demand revenge. Demand. If you give us safe passage back to Garrett and convince the council to hear Lucana's message, she will return with the fifth scroll and stop the rebellion. Very well. Captain Picard, I will power down my disruptors so you can lower your shields and let me beam to Bark, Avakar, and Lucana to my ship. To Bark? Perhaps our paths will cross again. Under better circumstances, I hope. Sorry we blew up all your friends and half your face. <laughs> Sir, the Warbird is disarming its weapons. Nice. Lower shields. Captain, the Garidians have beamed aboard the Asiram. They are underway. The Asiram. On course back to Garrod. What are your orders, Captain? I should like to consider the situation a bit further. Okay. Yeah, we need to talk to Starfleet. Yeah. Shit just what went down. What the fuck is going on? Admiral Williams no. here. Here's something what interesting you'll you, notice. Captain? Yeah. The game's not over yet. I know. We found the fifth scroll. Right. We, we... Resolve the situation on Garrett. Yeah. But why isn't the game over yet? Well, because that's not the story. Man, the story was never about that. The story was never about that. Yeah, never. Mm. Mm. That was the B plot. Yeah, that was that was a subplot of from subspace. Mm -hmm. A subplot from subspace. What is the current situation, Admiral? Is there anything in particular we should... Actually, things are relatively quiet mm -hmm. right now. The only cause for concern is all the Romulan activity in the area. <laughs> That's a big thing. Mm -hmm. What's your assessment? Starfleet Command is very pleased with your first contact mission to the Garidian colony on Phrygis. However, the subsequent discovery of the Fifth Scroll will have profound effects on Garrod. Yep. I commend you on your handling of the Garidian refugee problem. Tabak, Lucana, and Avakar okay. have returned home aboard the Garidian warbird Asirum. Their intrusion into Federation space has been handled through diplomatic channels. Yeah, yeah, we nailed that. We nailed Shall that. I go on? Must be awful. No, they probably just, they go backwards. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right. Uh, We're done here. Confirm our current orders. Uh, it was just explore the neutral zone, right? Why? I'd like to confirm our current orders. Of course. Starfleet Command is still considering the options. While we... Yeah, go on patrol. No. Okay, that's us. Picard, Picard out. out. 
Got out. Can I talk to people? Like, ah, uh, yes. I guarantee Any you. suggestions, number he's one. Not gonna have I don't know. Say. I'm just here. I'm sorry, Captain. I don't have. Data? Mr. Data, any suggestions? I'm staring at the screen. Contact st Counselor, do you have any thoughts? I end up with Riker and Worf. I'm sorry, <laughs> Captain, but I don't have. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Mr. Worf, your analysis. Captain, we should check our orders from Star. We just did. You're such a goober. The room no is here. empty. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, it was like, okay. the room is empty. The room is empty. Uh, so I guess literally we just go into the. the neutral zone. Yeah, the new. Uh, we didn't, uh, I didn't do that. I didn't, oh no, oh no. It's the moon from Mr. Science Theater. That's all the, the Romulan warbirds. Yeah, oh no, Outpost Gamma 1-5. Oh, shit. Oh no. They're attacking! Romulans, damn them! Oh my god. Uh oh. Did they just. Captain, we are receiving an emergency transmission from Starfleet headquarters. On screen. Attention, all Federation vessels. This is a priority oh one of We just talked to her. A Romulan fleet has crossed the neutral zone into Federation space. All civilian ships are advised to avoid wow. sectors around the border. Just like a state that, of war, war now exists between the Federation and the Romulan Empire. This is war. They are unexpressionless. They have no expression. Yeah, no. unexpressionless. Unexpressionless. They are un. No, they are expressionless. Uh, they they are yeah. Un unexpressionless. Is mean you are expressful. You are expressful. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. If you're unexpressionless, yeah. you are thus expressful. Expressful, yes. Yeah, uh -huh. right. It's a double negative. Uh, let's talk to Worf for once. Sure. Uh, Mr. Worf, your analysis. Captain, we should check our... Oh, oh my god. Mr. Data. I suggest we... Counselor, do you... Have... I'm not sure. Any suggest... We could contact... Uh, I guess okay. we should contact Starfleet. There is no response, sir. What? Um, Maybe the comm relays are malfunctioning. What? See if you can raise any of the local Federation outposts. That's Aye, bad. Sir. I will try manually routing the transmission. <laughs> Where did he go? Okay, try try Starfleet again. There is no response. Whoa. Uh, talk to Data, maybe? Mr. Data, any suggestion? Unfortunately, Captain, I do not currently have any suggestions. Is Starfleet dead? Uh, Did they kill all of Starfleet? Any suggestions? There's no way. I'm sorry, Captain, I don't have any. There's no way. Mr. Wolf, you're unfortunately, Captain. Counselor. I'm sorry. There's no way. Computer. Primary core access enabled. Systems Starfleet online. Starfleet just has a big cross through it. <laughs> They're all dead. Uh, bridge. Captain, I have established communication. Oh, okay, we're good. Uh, we're good. On the screen. Okay. Captain Picard. I'm surprised you managed to get through. The Romulans have disrupted communications through half the sector. We received the invasion alert. What's the situation? Our information is still sketchy, but we know the Romulans destroyed outpost Gamma-1-5. It looks like the spearhead of their fleet is in the Goldor sector. Goldor? The Enterprise Goldor? is at your disposal, Goldor. sir. G Goldor? From hey, those Power Rangers. Hey, I'm gonna get that Starfleet. <laughs> After 10,000 years! Hey, that's right, my queen. Oh, get get over there, Goldar! Oh, I'll go get him. Oh, good. Hop in a Romulan warbird. We'll hunt him down. Get my putty! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Perfect. That's yeah. exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. Star Trek. Mm -hmm. Good. Then I want you to proceed to the Goldar <laughs> good. Delta yeah. system and report to Commander Chan at Outpost 543. She's coordinating our defenses in that area. Admiral, if we encounter the Romulans... <laughs> Make my, my Romulans, Romulans grow! grow. <laughs> That's really funny. That's actually good. Make my Romulans grow! You're free to engage, but don't pick a fight you can't win, Jean-Luc. We can't afford to lose the Enterprise. Yeah, I can't either. Good luck. And to you, sir. I'm afraid we're all going to need it. Going to Picard need it. out. Lay in a course for the Goldor Delta system. Come on. Maximum war. It's just... Oh, boy. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Out of that time of video games. 
Bring the strippers and boots. Oh, thank God. I don't need pants now. Hey, JC. What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots. It's a production of broadcast. Now here's to ask and answer one simple question. It's a production of broadcast. <laughs> you 